This live California Osage game on Lake TV is brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Millard Family Chapels, Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes, SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Sirdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com, and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. It's time for the COMC pregame show. Here's William Holtz and Chris Schneider. We are live in Osage Beach, Missouri for Lake TV's Game of the Week. And for the third straight week, we got the Osage Indians, and tonight they play host to the California Pintos. As Bob said, it is the COMC pregame show. And your commentators tonight, I'm William Holtz, joined by the great Chris Schneider. And Chris, both teams 2-1 and one, meant so much to talk about in tonight's pregame show. Yeah, let me tell you, these two teams are, they have a whole lot of similarities. They've scored about the same amount of points this season. They've given up about the same amount of points. Points. They're both two and one. They both come off a loss. Tonight's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be a good game. And both have quarterbacks that have been in the limelight before. They've had a lot of starts in their career with their respective schools. So a lot going on. We're going to talk with both head coaches tonight. Uncle Chris, you get that privilege. We're going to talk about a, a special player, one on both sides. And we're going to set the stage for a big time Tri-County Conference matchup tonight on Lake TV after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. And we are back on Lake TV. It's our Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. And, Chris, first we're going to talk about the visiting California Pintos. They're 2-1, and one, but last year a lot of success. So when you look at this year's team, they got a new head coach. Yeah, they do. And this guy has been around, too. And uh, you'll hear about that when I talk to him here down on the field in just a minute. But this guy, has he comes from Oregon where he coached in high school, won district titles there. Before that, though, he coached over in Europe and he's coached in uh, Oklahoma. I mean, he's been all Wait, over the place. the AFL, correct? Uh, AFL and the GFL, whatever the GFL is. Well, the AFL <laughs> is like the rival of the NFL for Europe, right? Yeah, yeah. The Europe League? Yeah. And he was an assistant head coach there when they lost in the championship so, game. So, yeah, he, in the AFL in Austria, he for the St. Poulton Invaders, whoever they are, and with the GFL, the Brunswick Lions. So uh, and look at the guy, Chris. He, he looks like he can still suit up and I mean, play look, tonight. He looks like he could whip stone cold Steve Austin's butt, doesn't he? I'll That's tell you this right now. Man. I'm not messing with the guy. <laughs> and hopefully you didn't either, but he brings an impressive resume, and he takes over a program that Coach Scroggins really had yeah. gelling. And last year, they did have their starting quarterback, Kalen Kruger. He's back for yep. his senior campaign. And this is going to be his third year at the helm. A lot of experience. And I'll tell you what, Coach Womack, he took over a program that was very successful last yep. year. And, boy, they're off to 
a great start this yeah. year. And, and you mentioned earlier, I mean, there's so many similarities between these two teams, the records and the points and all that stuff. But the fact that they have special, very athletic quarterbacks, too, Kruger yeah. for California and uh, McLaughlin for Osage. And both these guys, we've seen them both on the football field and on the basketball court. They can do just about anything they want out there. They can throw, they can run, uh, and they'll do that for both their teams. I really think this is going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a close game, high scoring. And I think actually, I think California is going to win this tonight. And he didn't even wait for me to ask him his prediction of the week, man. We were close. You took last week. You were closer. Yeah. So we're actually, this is week four. So I think I'm up two to one yeah, on you in the predictions. Yeah. Tonight you might tie it up. Who knows? But you talk about California and you got to talk about Kalen Kruger. Yeah. Man, what an incredible career he's had. And he, he's working with a, a school and a program that's had some amazing quarterbacks, Chris. And he comes in with his team two in one. He can throw. He can pass like you mentioned. But he's got a lot of help around him. This Pinto team is deep when it comes to position players. And one of those players is tonight's Cool Breeze Marine Spotlight Player of the Game. He's a playmaker and he'll be all over Tonight's broadcast, Tyler Patterson, right there, running back and linebacker. You see his numbers on the year. Here's what's more impressive than his 288 yards. Almost 12 yards a carry, wow. two scores. He's also got four catches, which doesn't seem like a lot. Well, he's averaging about 26 yards a catch, one of those for a score. And he's going to be called on early and often tonight for California. And we think he's going to make a big-time impact on tonight's game. Now, it's funny, is when we get to Osage's spotlight player, of the game by Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist later in our pregame show. He's also starting running back and linebacker. Just give mm -hmm. you guys a little preview to Another that. Another similarity, yeah. Yeah, and they're, they rival each other, both schools, both programs, like you said. So that's Patterson. He's tonight's spotlight player of the game. You see those numbers. Kruger's going to rely on him. And when you look at California, Chris, they won their first two matchups, and last week they fell. But they fell to Blair Oaks, and they looked pretty good doing it. Yeah, they did. It was a pretty close game at halftime, and Blair Oaks doesn't have a, a lot of close games at halftime. They no. usually are winning by 30, 40 points. Literally. I mean, they're usually blowing people out early. And this was a game at halftime last week against this uh, California team. Blair Oaks pulled away in the second half. But uh, they really showed a lot of strength, a lot of moxie. And remember, they come off a winning season from last year. Uh, and, you know, you build a lot of just uh, confidence you don't get in any other way other than when you win, when you keep yeah. on winning like they did last year. So this team has a lot of that innate confidence that they bring on the field tonight, which Osage really doesn't. They yeah. didn't really have a great year last year. Yeah, and you look at California, they were able to score 35 points yeah. a week ago against Blair Oaks. And if you look at this Pinto program over their last 14 contests, they've won 10 of those. So a 10-4 and four mark over their last 14, very, very impressive. Now we're going to take a commercial break. And on the other side of that, Uncle Chris Chris is going to catch up with Pinto head coach Seth Womack. Sometimes we take things for granted, but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small, because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. Dig, mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best-selling compact tractor, the Kubota L-Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion. Power. Performance. Visit your local Crown Power and Equipment dealership today. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. You know the meaning of dedication. The early mornings and the late nights spent pursuing your dream. The commitment and passion to turn those dreams into reality. That spirit of dedication is why Central Bank is always there, working behind the scenes helping you navigate those twists and turns in your journey with solutions that are tailored to meet your business needs. Central Bank, we do business better. 
So it's Coach Womack, first year at California. How how have things been going for you so far? Uh, really good. Um, our kids have responded well to our you know our new system on offense and defense and special teams and. Uh, the community's been great, and our administration our high school is, is second to none. So it's been an awesome experience so far. Fantastic. You've got quite a resume, man. You have uh, done some coaching in the past. Tell us about yourself. Where have you been? Uh, you know, I've been uh, here in the United States all over, uh, each each side of the country in the middle and, and over in Europe as well. You know, I've been pretty blessed and fortunate to get to do some of the things I've gotten to do, for sure. Uh, everything from Germany to Austria to Oklahoma, and Massachusetts, and Oregon. So And right here in Missouri as well. So Boy, Nothing like Germany and Oklahoma, man. They're just... Uh, a lot of like no not at all <laughs> no it's 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 definitely different but um, you know it's still football at the end of the day and and you know you got to teach tackling you got to teach blocking and how to catch and how to throw so um, when, it, when it all comes down to it it's it is pretty similar yeah, off to a two and one start pretty good start to the year and how are things going in your first year of the program uh, you know good like I said our kids have really responded well to what we're trying to teach and do and and I think they've embraced it fully and you know, we have a lot of fun, and that was, you know, one of the things I came in and I told the kids, hey, I want to work hard, but we're going to have fun while we do it. And I think, you know, we're showing that out on the field every night and every day at practice. So this Osage team, 2-1 and one as well, a lot of similarities between these two teams. So what's it going to take for the winner tonight? Well, you know, I mean, playing a team like Osage, they're a wing T team, and, you know, you can't make mistakes against wing T teams. So, you know, for us, we got to play good on defense, minimize our mistakes there, and then on offense, we got to set our pace. And, you know, as you'll see tonight, we're going we're gonna to try to go as fast as humanly possible. Um, you know, we've, we've Averaged over 75 plays a game, and you know we'd like to, you know we'd like to hit 90 again tonight. So um, that's kind of our goal. And if we think if we can do that, you know we got a good shot at winning this thing. Who do you got to stop on the other side? You know their quarterbacks. He's special, right? Like I mean, he's he's a good player. Um, you know they're up front. Their O line's pretty tough, and and you know they got a good group of running backs too. So um, we can you know if we can contain those guys. You know give ourselves uh, you know good field position. Uh, you know we're going to be all right. Great. Hey, thank you for your time and good luck tonight. Thank you. Did I hear him right, Chris? He said they're averaging 75 plays a game. Yes, they through the are. the first three weeks. Hurry and he up. wants to hit 90 tonight? Yeah, they are hurry up. They want to fly. And uh, if they – I tell you what, that can work either way. If, if you're uh, moving the ball and scoring some points, it's great. But if you're three and out and then giving it right back to the other team, it can wear your defense out. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays tonight. I'm telling you guys, watching tonight better buckle up two offenses that move quick. Speaking of the other side – the Osage Indians, they welcome their first-year head coach, Shannon Jolly. Not exactly first year. He was here from 2000 to 2005, had a successful run, not just district championships 2003, 2004, conference coach of the year, and in 2004 was the district coach of the year. So had some success here. And then, of course, we've told you the last couple of weeks, you guys haven't been living under a rock. So, you know, he went down to Eldon, had a successful tenure there from 07 to 2017. Yep. And now he's back here after he made a stop at Capital City and Jefferson City and this year's gone off to a great start. 2 and 1, they started out 2 and 0 oh, and then last week went back to his old home Eldon and boy, what a classic that game was. Man, just an uh, an instant classic literally. Yeah. Uh, that went to overtime and uh, Eldon found a way to win. They play a kid for the first time in program history that transferred from California and he was kind of the difference in the game. Mr. Veach scored six yeah. touchdowns for Eldon last week. So uh, that was kind of the difference in the game. Really uh Osa played a pretty good game, played it well enough to win, came within a yard on, in the final seconds yeah. of winning before they went to overtime. So, uh, you know, but they've had to deal with their first loss of the season. And, um, you know, you always find what you're about when you deal with adversity. And they've been dealing with adversity this week, coming off a loss, figuring out how to bounce back, what kind of players you've got, who can handle that or not. So, you know, and every program goes through that. Indians are going through that right now in this last week, and we'll see how it plays out tonight. Yeah. And you talk about Osage, Chris. Of course, you want to talk about their quarterback, Brockton mm. McLaughlin. You want to talk about Eric Hood. He's a specimen. But one guy I don't think has gotten enough credit through the first three weeks, and he's tonight's spotlight player of the day game, presented by Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, Jackson Funderburk. He's yeah. the starting running back for this team, and you see his numbers there offensively, averaging over 100 yards a game, a very impressive 6.3 yards per carry, four touchdowns. He opened the season with a pair of scores against Fulton. He also had 
two last week against Elvin. But I think I've been more impressed with him defensively. You know, I looked at the stat sheet that Coach Jolly sent over, and I did not agree with it. It only had Jackson <laughs> down for one tackle for a loss. But every broadcast we've had, and this is our third week in a row, yep. he's had at least three. So I'm giving him credit for at least a couple in week one that we weren't there. <laughs> last couple of weeks, he's been all over the place. I think he's got at least nine tackles for a loss. Maybe even a sack he hasn't had credit for. But we've called how many tackles oh. for a loss for this young yeah, man? Yeah, you know, he's just one of those special kids that, I mean, he's not huge. He's no, five, not, six. Yeah, he's not a powerhouse, uh, but he plays all heart. You know, yeah. he's all motor. He's out there just going, going, going. Last week, uh, he got up limping like, you know, ten times uh, and just went right back in the huddle. And a lot of times he got the ball back on the next play. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it just, you love this kid's heart. He's a real football player. You can tell he just loves every second out there on the football field. And Coach Jolly loves him. This is just one of those kids that's just a special kid all the way around. Yeah, and like I said, he's only 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, he's not real big, but I'm telling you, what he lacks in size, yeah. he makes up for in heart and effort. And he has had a sensational year so far, the senior. But he's not alone. You look at this Osage team, Chris. Yeah. You talk about Eric Hood in the backfield as well. You talk about, man, Derek Bradley's had a great year. He's yeah. going to be all over the place, not just defense and offense, but also on special teams. And then the Vaughn boys, Keegan and Connor Vaughn. You know, Connor had two interceptions the last time we were here yeah. two weeks ago, including the game ceiling interception. And so there's a lot of playmakers on this Indian team that we expect to call. And no more than not just Jackson Thunderbird, but Brockton McLaughlin, who's had a sensational year, not so much passing the football, but running it. Yeah, and it's all about Coach Jolly, right? Yeah. I mean, Coach Jolly is a, uh, you know, back to the basics guy. He likes running the ball. He likes three yards in a cloud of dust, as they right. used to say. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. It's the foundation of his program. And everywhere he's gone, when he's had time to build a program, Osage in the early 2000s, Eldon for 10 years that he was there from 07 to 17, he, he builds a program into a champion. And that that is the foundation that he builds it on, on running the ball, blocking, tackling, and playing with heart. And you can see uh, him starting to build that in this team already. And we're four games into the season. Thing is, California is very similar to that, yeah. you know. So it's going to be a pretty fun game to watch tonight. Yeah, and speaking of Coach Shannon Jolly, Chris, you got a chance to talk with him earlier tonight, and we're going to show you that. But first, we owe you a commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have 2x6 exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. And we are back for tonight's National Anthem. That is tonight's national anthem. So, Chris, we're getting close. Always love that part of the festivities, honoring our great country. And now we're going to let everyone hear what Coach Jolly had to say just a little bit ago. Well, Coach, another beautiful night for football. It's Friday Night Lights. Fridays are always good for football, so here we are, you know. That and being at the Lake of the Ozarks, what else could you ask for? Good to be back home after last week. Tough first loss of the season. What kind of a week was it for the Indians? 
you know, we've had better weeks, uh, to be honest with you. So, you know, you get kind of an unknown a little bit. But um, hopefully our kids have kind of put it together over the last couple of days. But, um, you know, it's just a grind throughout the season to make sure that you're doing what you need to be to be prepared. And, and uh, this week we struggled a little bit. But um, hopefully we'll play hard tonight and, and fix some of those things. You know, there's an old saying, winning takes care of all the ills. So it'd be nice to get a win tonight and uh, and wake up tomorrow with a win. <laughs> I think we're winning covers up all the ill. I don't know if it fixes anything, but um, it sure would be nice to get a win. we got a great opponent in California, and um, it is good to be home and got senior night tonight, so uh, hopefully everybody be well represented. Yeah, how about this California team? What are they doing? What are you going to have to do to win it tonight? I just play real hard. I mean, obviously, we're going to be more physical than we were last week. Um, got a good back in the backfield and a good quarterback, so, you know, they're going to present some challenges for us defensively, and we're just going to have to make sure that we uh, are physical, more physical than we were last week, and, and tackle low. All right, Coach, good luck tonight. Thanks for your time. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. And we watch Osage now run onto the field. Got to love that as they make their way right there in the tribe, ready to go here on senior night. Now, Chris, if you look at Osage, of course, 2-1, and pretty solid start after last week's heartbreaking loss. But one of those concerns is these turnovers. Man, Osage has not just turned the ball over in epic proportions. They've also had a lot of penalties so far this season. Yeah, they have been sloppy. And that, uh, you know, they were able to overcome that the first two games. They had nine turnovers in the first two games. Still able to win both of those games. It kind of gives you an idea of the talent that they have on this team. Uh, and last week, uh, they actually had two, two touchdown leads in that game. Yeah. And weren't able to hold those leads. Uh, for a lot of the night, it looked like they were in control of that game, and it just got away from them in the end, thanks to me, one guy, really, from Eldon, Mr. Yeah. Veach, that had six touchdowns, but uh, uh, this Osage team very easily could be 3-0. and They're 2-1. and California's 2-1. and But yeah, they're going to have to clean things up if they're going to win real tough, tight games like we expect tonight. They can't afford to have the turnovers, and they can't afford to have the penalties. Yeah, and if I look at both programs, I'm kind, I'm kind of trying to figure out the mindset coming into tonight's game. First, you look at California. They look at Blair Oaks a week ago and they're like, that's probably the toughest team we're going to play on our regular season schedule. Yeah. Well, that's behind them and they dropped 35 points. Got to feel pretty good yeah. at 2-1 and one with the hardest behind you. They may come into this with a lot of confidence. As for Osage, they feel like they should be 3-0. and oh. They lost their arch rival a game they feel like they should have won. They're going to come in hungry, looking to right the ship after last week's loss. So both teams a lot to play for tonight. Whichever team walks out of here with a W, they'll be 3-1 and one opposed to 2-2. Two and two. And boy, that's a big difference when you head into week five. Huge difference. And I think you could hear it, uh, Coach Shannon Jolly, and in, in his voice and the way he talked, you know, I asked him, what kind of a week has it been? And he said, well, I'll be honest with you, it's been a tough week. You know, and when the coaches say something like that, you know that they're dealing with how to overcome uh, some adversity. The adversity is they lost in overtime yeah. to the, probably their biggest rival, uh, a game that they had 14-point leads twice. You know, so they're dealing with that. They're trying to overcome that. And to be honest with you, you can go either way. You yeah. know, I mean, teams can can either learn from that, grow from that, and get stronger. Coach Jolly's teams usually do be. That's why he's such a good coach. Uh, but sometimes they go the opposite way, and we'll kind of find out. But you're right. I mean, for California, they've got the edge because they played Blair Oaks last week. They're maybe the best team in the state, yeah. you know, in that, in that uh, class. And they played them pretty well. They put up some points, and even though it was a loss, they probably come out of that with some confidence. Confidence. No doubt about it. I'm telling you, dropping 35 points on that team is yeah. nothing yeah. to be upset about. And we've got a little more. We still have to make our game predictions. Ooh. Uncle Chris and Wild Will will make our predictions tonight. Will holds the slim margin over Chris. Two and one headed into this week. So after this commercial break, we'll be back on our COMC pregame show. And we'll get tonight's predictions from this guy and myself. Your car and boat are your pride and joy. Here at Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, we're ready to create a shine that lasts. If you want the best, most thorough detail of the lake, it's time to schedule your free consultation. No time, no problem. We can come to you at work, the dock, or at your home, so you never have to change your schedule. And don't forget about our industry-leading ceramic coating for any surface you want to protect. With Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, you're one call away from the cleanest boat or car you've ever seen since you took it off the a lot.
Welcome back to beautiful Lake of the Ozark. Hi, this is Greg at Cernak Yamaha on Osage Beach. Getting out on the water has never been so important to you and your family. With warmer weather on the horizon, now is the perfect time to get your new Yamaha Wave Runner or sport boat ready for some fun. Here at Cernak Yamaha, we've got just what you need. Our 2021 lineup of Yamaha Wave Runners and sport boats features sleek new designs and enhanced technology so you can enjoy the premium boating experience powered by the number one brand on the water. Cernak Yamaha has been family owned and operated since 1971 and this year we are proud to celebrate 50 years for job opportunities as well as recreation opportunities visit Sirdak Yamaha on Osage Beach today It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. And we are back here on our Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show, one of our favorite parts of the pregame show each week. Uncle Chris and Wild Will, we're going to give you our prediction for tonight. So, Chris, both teams, two and one, we've told you about it. What do you think is going to happen? I think California is going to win a tight one tonight. I'm going 38-35 Pintos. Wow. So you are going to take – I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say Osage 29, California 23. And those are going to be hard totals to hit. But I got Osage by six. So all of our Indian fans watching tonight on Lake TV, I get some brownie points for you. Pinto fans, I love you equally. You're going to love this guy (laughs) right here tonight. So we're getting ready to have our coin toss. I feel strongly both ways. Yeah, but you you pick California. I also <laughs> feel strongly both ways, right, but I had yeah. to pick somebody. That's right. We you play got, the political game. You here. got the Pintos. I got the Indians. We'll be <laughs> fighting that one out. And Chris, I'll tell you, it's Bike Fest here at Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah. You see all the bikes around oh, today. Oh man, everywhere. Greatness. Oh yeah, Love we went out today. It. Yeah, so we were uh, we were dodging bikes all over the place. You weren't on a bike. I was not on a bike. No, you you don't want to see that. <laughs> I could imagine you and <laughs> Aunt Uncle Chris out and about. You <laughs> revving up with your Harley pulling up oh, next yeah. to somebody, mm-hmm. looking over. So man, so one other thing that I thought deserved mentioning tonight is look at these two head coaches, yeah. brother. You talk about Shannon Jolly and Seth Womack. Wow. I kind of wanted to see these guys in the BKFC squared you, circle. You could put them in the octagon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, there, man. man. Look yeah, at those you guys. They're, you know, they're great. I mean, just your typical hard-nosed football coaches, you know. But they're both great guys, you know. For sure. Now, we're going to get an idea here. Hopefully, we can hear some of the audio. We'll shut up here in the booth and <laughs> we'll let you hear what's going on down on the field. heard it for the first three weeks. You're going to hear it tonight. You're going to hear it the rest of the season. We're out here to promote sportsmanship and good play, good hard play. You won't hear this many other times, but we've got three teams out here. We've got the players, we've got the coaches, and we've got the officials. And we're all out here to do our very best. And I know you all are too. Watch your chirping between plays. Make a good tackle, help tone it up. Go to your huddle, and let's play, make the next play. The coaches, you guys will take care of the sidelines for us. Okay, you all are excused. Take we, will take, we will take a uh, walk away. Got that All right, guys. This is a head. That's a tail. That's a tail. That's a head. What's your call? What did he say? He said head. It is a head. You want to defer. All right. Proceed, Mark. It's Friday night at Lake of the Ozarks, and a battle is about to begin. Conference foes both 2-1, and one, with so much optimism heading into week four. Two very proud small towns, each Friday night in the fall, setting their eyes onto the gridiron. On one side, it's Kalen Kruger in the Pintos under first-year head coach Seth Womack. 
of their opponent, led by Brockton McLaughlin and his tribe, under the man who is finally home where he belongs, Shannon Jolly and the Osage Indians. The stage has been set. The lights are on. Are you ready? Here's Eric Good now inside the five of the house. Touchdown, the Indians. Quick hitter to Dawson Gump on the slant. Inside the 10 to the house. Touchdown, Pentos. Going at it next week, Osage and Elvin. Huffman now in second 11. Across body intercepted. Connor Vaughn is second of the night. Inside the 30. Inside the 20. Inside the 5. To the house. Touchdown. Osage. It's time for live high school football on Lake TV. And only one team can leave a victor. It's the California Pinkers. The Osage Indians. And it starts now. We are set here in Osage Beach, and here comes the kickoff from California. Back to receive at about his 14-yard line is Bradley. He takes a shot on his shoulder, stays on his feet, wiggles across the 30, and he's going to be taken down at the 37, and Osage starts there first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Good job from Bradley uh, on that return. Uh, not just the yards that he gained, but he, uh, he the uh, Pintos were going for the ball, almost tried to strip the ball out of there. He was able to hang on to it huge. Remember one of the problems for this Osage team early in the season and turnovers, they had nine of them in the first two games, still were able to win, but they'll start out on their 42. And you see Funderburk in the backfield along with Bradley there with McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Funderburk, Whoa. he's got some room across the 45, across midfield and up to the 47 yard line into Pinto territory. That's a first down brought to you by Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks and one play from scrimmage and a good one at that. Yeah, oh man, look at that. Nice blocking up front, big hole. He gets through it, makes a nice move, almost a face mask there, but a uh, good first down, the first first down of the game goes for Osage and they cross the midfield stripe. So one play and a solid one. Going to bring up first down at the 48 for California. McLaughlin gives to Bradley. Bradley, he's going to be taken down there. First guy there for the Pintos, Trevor Myers, the senior. He's a ball hawk, and he will be all over the field. If you look at Osage starters on offense tonight, of course, Brockton McLaughlin in the backfield, Jackson, Funderburg, and Derek Bradley. His receivers, Hunter Graber, Keegan Vaughn, and Dylan Willenbrock. New player at tight end tonight, Luke Willenbrock. And then on the line, you have Davis Salee, Ashton Carter, Matt Barnes, Tanner Gardner, and Peyton Havner from left to right. That is tonight's Osage starting 11. Here's Funderburg, full head of steam, and he's going to bulldoze his way down to about the 43 yard line. Decent gain of about five on second down. Going to bring up third down now. Yeah, and uh uh, Pinto slow getting up there. He's limping around uh, in on that tackle. I tell you what, Funderburg's not a big guy, but he brings a load with him when he uh, when he carries the ball or when he's hitting you on defense. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he is a nose for the football. He loves running and carrying the football on offense, but defensively, such a solid linebacker, especially for 5'6", five, 5'7", five, Chris Mann. So on third down, here's McLaughlin. He rolls to his right into the flat, has his man. That's Hunter Graber, hauls it in at about the 38-yard line. We'll give him five yards right at that first down marker. We'll wait and see if the official says it's a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. Wow, it looks like, yep, they're going to give it to him. Almost looked like he was going to count him short, but he held the ball out when he crossed. So good, nice play there. Uh, smart thinking, not just catching the ball, but thinking afterwards and getting that first down. Second first down on this drive, huge for Osage. Man, Hunter Graver's a kid I feel for. You talk about his season last year, big year receiving the football, new head coach, new offensive style, and he's kind of had to settle into not getting his eight to 10 targets a game, but he's embraced that, been a great leader, and when his number is called, you saw there, big third down, and he made the play. Gotta love Hunter Graber for the Indians. Absolutely. You know what? And I just saw uh, big lineman uh, Salee picking up the California player off the field. Nice sportsmanship down there early here in the game. Uh, it's uh, just, it's always nice to see that. But that is, it shows some good coaching on both sides of the ball. 
And that's a lot more common to see in the first quarter with nine and a half minutes <laughs> left than it is in the third or fourth quarter. True. We'll wait and see where that's at late in the game. Here's Thunderbird on second and eight outside inside the 25. Out across the 20, a 16-yard scamper and a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down for tonight's spotlight player of the game presented by Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist. Look oh. at him here, Chris. Oh, to be young again. That guy was limping all over the field last week at Eldon. Looks like, uh, you know, he's uh, just as fresh as ever tonight out there. Yeah, he looks good. Now inside the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Red Zone are the Indians. They have it first and 10, 925 left at the California 19-yard line. We are scoreless here in the early going. Osage hoping to change that. McLaughlin. Give to Bradley. He's got some room. Cuts back. Nice block inside the 10. Inside the 5 to the house. Touchdown. Derek Bradley for the Indians. They're on the board first. And I'll tell you what, the junior, he did not waste any time. He saw a hole. He took it, made a nice cutback, and he scores from the 20-yard line. We're going to give him 19 officially. And, man, an impressive opening drive here for Osage. Watch this blocking. So Bradley's out there. Nice cut inside of the out containment guy and and uh, finds nothing but real estate into the end zone. And what a way to start the game for the Indians. Extra point is low off the foot of Zach Green. So 6 nothing. And that block you were talking about, Chris, that was number 22, Keegan Vaughn. We'll be right back on Lake TV after this. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. Man, what a start for the home team, Osage, as we welcome you back to Lake TV's Game of the Week. They waste just two minutes, 42 seconds. is a 20-yard, 19, I guess, officially. Derek Bradley touchdown run. Now, the extra point, no good, but 6 nothing early, and Osage kind of sets the tone, and that was an outstanding opening series for the home team. Yeah, I tell you, the only thing that went wrong on that drive was the PAT at the end. It's only 6 nothing instead of uh, the uh, 7 they desired. So here's a short kick fielded. Nice return up to about the 38, 39 yard line, Drake Schloop. So Schloop, one of those players you hear a lot over the years. Kalen Kruger, the senior, Tyler Patterson, Dunaway, and Trevor Myers, all seniors on this team. And also their kicker, Adolfo Ozio, one of the seniors that's been a big part of this program over the last couple of years. So for Osage Chris, they find themselves down, but Kalen Kruger and his team have it first and 10 with great field position. They're going to take a shot here on first down. Miscommunication between his receiver. Kruger overthrows Caden Bax, another senior, so falls harmlessly to the turf. Going to bring up second down. And Chris, I'd much rather see that play on first down yeah. than see it on third and eight, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And remember, this is a hurry up offense. They want to get in 90 plays tonight, if at all possible. So uh, it, I tell you what, the Osage defense, if they can get some three and outs, that's give, give, give that offense a big advantage. Dunaway with the carry, trying to get outside. Vaughn says no, and he'll be finished Ooh. off back there. That is Ashton Carter in the backfield for Osage. That goes for a loss of one and going to bring up a big third down and 11. Wow, what's some hitting out there? Watch this. Hand off, no place to go out there. And there's the stop and here's the finish. Bam. And then they got to know each other at the end through their face mask. How you doing, man? Doing good. How, how you doing? <laughs> That's right. Third down and 11. Here's Kruger out of the gun. Going to roll to his right. Step up in the pocket, and he is going to be corralled and taken down for the sack. That's number 69 for Osage, Matt Burns. How about that, Chris? And that's going to be a quick three and out, and that has the Osage faithful loving it. How about that three and out? And I'll tell you, wow. California, they had an opportunity. There was a receiver open, but Kruger, he was trying to create enough time, and the pressure got to him, and Barnes takes him down for the QB sack. Good containment from the Osage defense out there on the edge, keeping Kruger from running because he can run. 
Yeah, you're not kidding. He is impressive. What a boot this time from Trevor Myers. Fielded at about the 23 from Vaughn. Vaughn, good yardage, close to the 40, and he is across the 40, up to the 41-yard line. And the Osage offense going to go right back to work here with 7.46 left. Yeah, that's a heck of a leg that big kid's got on him. We saw him play basketball last year, I think, for California. He's a big, salty kid, and I tell you what, he can. Uh, that's the best punter we've seen so far this year, I think. Yeah, that was impressive. Now, last week, you do remember early in that Eldon Osage game, McLaughlin had like a 57-yarder. Oh, yeah. Got that right bounce. Man, I'll tell you, a couple of years ago, Jaden Barr for P the Pintos, more like six, probably six years ago, he had like a 77-yard punt in California oh, during a game. There's some good talent around here. Yeah, you're not kidding. One of those being Brockton McLaughlin. He's going to hand it off to Thunderbird up across the 45 and taken down there. So for Osage, Chris, they are 2-1, and one, as we told you, and looking to move to 3-1, and one, as is California. And for these Pintos, this is the first of four straight broadcasts we have. This week, of course, here in Osage. Next week, we've got California at home against Boonville. On October 1st, we're back in California as they play host to Versailles. And then the very next week, they go down to Eldon, and we have all of those for you right here on Lake TV. So, Pinto Nation, we are getting ready to have a nice month together. Good job from the defense uh, center of that Pinto defense just uh, jamming that up. Very little gain. It's going to bring up a big third down so far. The, uh, the Indians are uh, just one for one on third down conversions. That first drive they took down the field, put it in the end zone, needing just one third down conversion. Yeah, it was great containment there by the Pintos. They didn't fall for the ball fake. It was the fake handoff and then give it up the middle. And Thunderbird had no room. And that brings up third down and five now for Osage. Six and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. See if uh, McLaughlin does a run pass option. Oh, he's just going to drop straight back. He's going to throw. It's Graver who plucks it out of the air at the 41-yard line. That's good for 13 yards and a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. And Osage now good on their first two third down conversions and both of those going to Graber. And look at this throw and catch. Yeah, good, good route run. He comes back. He's wide open. And that ball was in the air before he made his cut back. So good job. They uh, figured that out in practice. There's a whole lot of reps in practice going into that. So first down and 10 now inside Pinto territory. Laughlin takes the snap, miscommunication. He's in trouble and he is buried in the backfield. Myers there, but also first guy there for the Pintos is Jackson Cassell, the junior. And that's a three yard loss and a busted play from the start. And McLaughlin gets up limping there. He's not feeling too good after that one. He uh, can see that right ankle is hurting him. He can barely put weight on that. He's going to come out. Yeah, I think so. And he is really hurting. You mentioned so. In there at quarterback now is Connor Vaughn. Backup duties for him, and he's forced into a second and 12 as we'll keep you posted on the senior signal caller. Man, tough blow here for the Indians in the early going. Yeah, and it really looked uh, pretty innocent there, kind of a broken play, and he goes down but twisted that ankle somehow. Vaughn gives to Thunderbird inside the 40. He'll be stopped right there. Right past that initial line of scrimmage. Not a whole lot going to bring up third down and nine here for the Indians. And if you're the Pinto sideline or the Pinto faithful, you don't hate that as long as he's okay because you know how dangerous he is if he's on the field healthy, that being walked in McLaughlin. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, He can do it all. But we saw last week uh, from Vaughn, he is a very talented quarterback as well. This kid, he can run like the wind as well. So uh, don't be surprised to see him take something out on the, on the edge. He's going to step up in the pocket under pressure and taken down there by a slew of Indians. Myers cleans it up, but first man there is number 52, Cody Williams, with the stop, going to bring up fourth down and about seven. So good pressure from the Pintos and not enough time for Vaughn to either elude the pressure or find someone downfield. And now California may be getting it back. Yeah, and so what do you do on fourth down and seven here from the 38-yard line if you're Osage? Do you go for it? Do you try to punt and put them, you know, just get them back real deep? Uh, looks like Osage is thinking about going for it, but remember they do a lot of the quick kicks back there, but usually that's Brockton McLaughlin doing that. Yeah, I would go for it in this situation. Looks like Osage may also look for the hard count to try to make it closer. And that's what they were yep. trying. Osage burns the timeout, so we'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. 
Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. We see Brock McLaughlin there getting worked on by the athletic trainer. It's that ankle that looks to be a little bothersome for him. And, yeah, it did look innocent on the play, but you never know what happens on yeah. the way down or yeah. you get rolled up on. So fourth down and seven is the situation we come back to. 356, and Osage got the scoring started on their opening possession. It was Derek Bradley from 19 yards out with the run. Extra point was no good, and that's where we stand now, 6-0. to zero. Like I said, just 356 left, and Chris, you alluded to it during the break. Man, this first quarter has flown by so yeah, far. Yeah, I mean, down to 356 to go here in this first stanza. So uh, both teams 0-1 in the Tri-County Conference coming into this. They both lost last week. Uh, for the season, California has uh, scored 106. Osage has scored 97. Uh, Osage has given up 86. California has given up 88. So, I mean, very tight, very close statistics for both of these teams all the way around. California likes to go fast. They want to try to get 90 plays in a game. So far this first quarter, what, you counted them? Three uh, offensive plays. So Osage has really been doing exactly what they want to do so far in this game, but they would uh, they really need to pick up this first down and keep the ball. Fourth down and seven. Vaughn, little play action. Going to roll into the flat. Ooh. Thunderbird wouldn't have had a chance even had he caught it. Incomplete big-time play by Isaac Currents. The senior, and that's a turnover on downs. California, first and 10 at their own 38, and that's a major stand for this defense. Yeah, and uh, like you said, there was no way they were going to pick up that first down even if he had caught the ball. Uh, good defense from the Pintos there and a good confidence builder. So they get the ball back. Pretty good field position here on the 38-yard line. That first drive they had, it was a three and out. Good job from the Osage defense. We'll see if they can do it again here. So Kruger out of the gun. First down carry. Not a lot doing. To about the 39 yard line is Casil. And and there's you, a flag on the play, it looks like. I tell you what, after that game last week where uh, the uh, Veach kid for Eldon just ran all over this Osage defense, you know they were talking about that in practice all week long, tackling the basics, you know, hitting and bringing the runners down. Actually, just an errant flag fell out of the official's pocket. Here's the end of round. Sloop now on the carry, and Vaughn, a big-time hit. That was Drake Sloop. The seniors seem to have some room, but Connor Vaughn comes up and takes him down. The junior with a big time play gonna bring up third down and eight. Nice. You know, and again, you know, one of the the upsides of playing that game against Eldon last week against that great running back is Osage knows how to hit and tackle now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Bryce Veach a week ago didn't even have him on our radar. Here's a bomb out of the hand of quarterback Kruger coming back and making the play. How about that for Trevor Myers? Drastically underthrown, but Myers makes the adjustment and he's all the way down to the 36 yard line. That's good for 24 yards in a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. Well, look at this. Kruger just goes back and throws it up in the air and it turns into a first down and really fast there. Snap is already off. Yeah, right back to it, Chris. They waste no time. The carry is number two. That's Enoch Dunaway, and he's got about four, maybe five. And, yeah, how quick are these guys? Wow. Well, you know, they said, uh, Coach Womack said in the pregame show, he tried, well, wants to get 90 offensive plays in tonight. That's getting up there and getting it off. Yeah, on second and five, they've got seven, this being number eight. Run outside, Vaughn corrals him, and good carry from... 
Tyler Patterson, but Vaughn takes him down short of first down yardage. That's just the eighth play from scrimmage for California. Yeah, and this is two down territory for the Pintos. Third and less than a yard here. So uh, the, if they don't get it on third down, look for them to line up quickly and hit it, hit the hole again fast. Here's Kruger. Ooh. Carry and blown up in the backfield. Ashton Carter says, I don't think so. That is a big time loss of four. Going to bring up third down and five. Look at Ashton Carter here. Nice Boom, job. baby. Great penetration into the backfield. Blew that thing up early, but the Pinto's right back on the line, and they're going for it on fourth down quickly here. Yeah, fourth down and five. You mentioned two down territory. That is the case. Kruger out of the gun. Takes the snap and rolls to his right. Little pump fake. Going to step up now. Tries to get the first down. Balls on the turf, and I think Osage has it. Regardless, he doesn't have first down yardage, and it is Osage football. Carter had the big hit on the last play, and he has the fumble recovery here. So the Indians take back over after the Kalen Kruger fumble. You'll see there, he wasn't sure if he was going to pass, and gets hit, pops out, and Ashton Carter. Johnny on the spot, and the Indians back in business. They have it first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Great job by the Osage defense there because remember it was uh, just a short, less than a yard to go to get that first down. Uh, two straight plays, they shut them down and get the ball back with just over a minute to go in this first quarter. Vaughn now, they give to Eric Hood. He's gonna be nailed at the line of scrimmage. Ooh. Nice piece of tackling. First man there is Jackson Casill for California. How about that play, that man? That was a how do you do right there. They got to know each other pretty quickly and uh, no running room there for Mr. Hood. And usually Eric Hood is, uh, he's usually falls forward for at least two or three yards. Not that time, he was stopped in his tracks. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not like that's an easy guy to get down at the line of scrimmage. We're inside one minute to go here in the first quarter. Vaughn remains at quarterback. The give to Bradley. Bradley tries to find some running room. Not a lot doing. California all over him, and that's going to bring up third down and eight. So Osage now, after that opening series, getting a little stagnant here on offense. They're faced with a third and eight as Brockton McLaughlin continues to get that ankle looked at. They're taping it up now as if he may be getting ready to come back in here. You know, it's tough when you lose your starting quarterback uh, like that. Even though Mr. Vaughn has proven to be a good quarterback in the past, still just kind of throws the offense off a little bit. These guys have different strengths, can do different things better. And so uh, when we go into the second quarter, we'll see what Osage can do. Yeah, that's going to conclude the first quarter of play with Osage out in front over the California Pintos by the score of six to nothing. We'll be back on Lake TV after this. Lake of the Ozarks is the boating capital of the Midwest. Did you know that your prop is the most important part of your boat? With nearly 30 years of propeller repair at Lake of the Ozarks, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, is the choice for you. The most advanced in propeller repair and scanning, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, can help you boat smarter, go farther, and last longer on beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist. Go with the best or stay on shore with the rest. Hey Indian fans, we know you're crazy about Osage Indians football, and so are we here at Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant. Conveniently located just down the road from the Indians' home field, we want to wish the Indians the best of luck this season. Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant, open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week, home to a top 15 golf course in the state of Missouri, and the proud official golf club of Osage Indians football on Lake TV. Go Indians! And we're back on Lake TV. Our second quarter of play starts with the Indians faced with a third and eight here at their own 29 yard line. The Indians got started in their opening series. They took it all the way down the field in just a little over two minutes and it was Derek Bradley, the senior. So he took it 20 yards to the house as you'll see McLaughlin there on the sideline trying to get loose and convince the athletic trainer that he's ready to go. But for this third down and eight, it's going to be Vaughn in there at quarterback. Bradley and Hood in the backfield with him. Big third down. You want to keep the ball away from this California team because they can strike like lightning. Vaughn into the flat. Uh -oh. That one's picked at the 40-yard line, and that is Aiden Bryant, the sophomore that was a bad ball, and it is taken right there by the Pintos. So right after Osage gets the first turnover of the game, they give it right back. And the Pintos, they got great starting field position here. 
Yeah, that was not a good pass at all. You see Vaughn drops back and uh, without hesitation throws it, just overthrows it there. It looked like he might have had an open receiver. Just put too much uh, air under the ball and easy interception. So with 11.54, Kruger, they give to Dunaway. Dunaway, good yardage across the 35, and he's got eight yards close to that first down. Going to bring up second down and short. Solid run from Dunaway. Oh, the Pintos here. They want to capitalize on that interception. They want to make it hurt. I tell you what, Dunaway is a bowling ball out there. That kid, he's 5'7", 210. Kruger taking a shot. Got Myers into the end zone. Incomplete, or did he catch it? No, incomplete. What an effort. Great defense there by Hunter Graver. And again, that was a little underthrown, as you saw Myers, he had to slow up and try to make an adjustment. Graber able to stop him from hauling that in. Yeah, you can see the throw up there. The coverage, he's got a step on him there and just broken up there in the end. Good job on defense. Yeah, so third and three here for Kruger and the Pintos. Looking good. to the sideline. Some good camera work down there by our guys, huh? Yeah, Tony Williams is making it happen. Little play action, little slant. He's got Myers inside the 20, and he will score from 34 yards out. Kalen Kruger to Trevor Myers, and we are tied. Quick hitter, and it was no chance for Graber. Myers to quick move off the line of scrimmage, and it was all she wrote wow. with a perfect pass from Kruger. And watch this. I mean, he hits a slant. He hits it. Missed tackle right there, and he starts turning around and uh, giving him a little business there as he gets into the end zone. <laughs> Yeah, giving him a little business. I love it. So six all here. And for California, Adolfo Osio, the senior, going to come in to attempt the extra point and give California the lead. The kick is up, and holy smokes, that was a good wow. kick. And California, they're out in front seven to six after that one. So we'll be back on Lake TV after this. Get ready for 2021 at your favorite lake lodging destination, the Lodge at Port Arrowhead. Featuring over 140 spacious guest rooms, freshly remodeled bathrooms, an updated indoor pool area with so much more. Come see the updated Lodge at Port Arrowhead, the lake's hottest lake getaway without the lake getaway price. Most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement. Whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process the mile marker formula that helps you pursue your work optional lifestyle so you can focus on what's most important to you, like your family or checking off those bucket list items. Start taking the first step toward finding your work optional lifestyle. Call us today at 573-302-7212. So just like that, Chris, it's a California turnover. The Pintos waste no time making it hurt for the Indians, and they score on the 33-yard touchdown pass from Kalen Kruger to Trevor Myers. Impressive, and the extra point good. So California out in front now 7-6, to six. and be interesting on this series, is Brock McLaughlin able to come in at quarterback for Osage? And we talked about the uh, turnovers. There was a turnover there for Osage turned into a touchdown for California. California. Graber, the front man on a short kick, fields it. And he's got it up to about the 34 yard line, and that's where Osage takes over. Graber getting up a little bit slow there. You know, the McLaughlin back out there. Yeah, he is. He, and it doesn't look like he's limping either. So uh, he's. Uh, Looks like he's shaking off that uh, ankle injury. Hopefully he won't be slowed down. Remember, part of what makes Brockton special is his speed to be able to run the ball. And if you've got a uh, flat tire out there, it's kind of hard to make it around the side. Yeah, no doubt. And now we'll see if Osage goes to the air. They keep it on the ground. First down. Thunderburg, is that Bradley? Bradley with the carry, and he's going to be gang tackled right past that line of scrimmage. Not a whole lot doing for Derek Bradley on first down. And uh, number 40 getting up slowly for the Pintos. He was in on that hard tackle. I tell you what, both these teams, and again, it, it shows you a lot about the coaches. They are not afraid to stick their nose in there and make a, make a tackle. No, that's true about both these defenses. They are hard-nosed and they love contact. You notice, too, on carrying the football, they don't shy away from no, contact no, either. No, they uh, kind of bring it on, baby. So a second and nine from the 35 for Osage here. 
McLaughlin out of the gun, takes the snap. Give is to Hood. He is buried there. I'll tell you, there was a busy pile as California stacked the box. And that hole, it closed immediately after a modest gain. Going to bring up third down and seven. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, California's defense has really started to stiffen up. He almost fumbled that. Look at that high snap, kind of almost went through his hands, went right to Hood. Right, Good job from Eric to keep his eye on that ball, man. That's the way they drew that one up. Yeah, shoot. I don't know. That you was, never heard that play that call? That was pretty cool. That was almost a turnover. That would not have been good for the Indians. So third and seven with 9.50 left. Brock McLaughlin back in the gun. Stutter steps, buys a little time, trying to get outside, and he is going to be nailed back at the 26-yard line. An 11-yard loss, going to bring up an obvious punt situation. How about the Pinto's defense? They know that he's laboring that ankle. They bring the blitz, and he has nowhere to go, and you, you can just tell he's not moving the same. Yeah, he, uh, that, that right ankle is definitely sore. Uh, there was no way he was getting away from uh, that one. That, tell you what, though, the Pinto's defense is really gaining confidence early here in the second quarter. They just shut that drive down right off the bat. So fourth and 18 now. Back to receive the punt is Drake Schloop, the senior for the Pintos. McLaughlin, he'll do the punting for the Indians. Good snap. Gets it away. Good punt right to Schloop. He's got some room at the 38. He's across midfield. Now across the 45. Good return and a solid hit. Laid after the return all the way up to the 39-yard line, wow. and California starts inside Osage territory. Boy, I tell you what, that was a great job of blocking by the uh, punt return team for the Pintos. He had picked up uh, 15 yards before he even ran into opposition there. Some great blocking on the outside, uh, getting those flymen out of, the, uh, out of the way and not even close to the picture. Yeah, ends up going for a 23-yard return on the play for Sloop. Kruger now, a little play action. He's going to take a shot for Myers on the little hitch route, and that's good. And Vaughn now throws him out late. Surprised there's not a flag yeah. as Trevor Myers has a central bank lake of the Ozarks first down, but there's no doubt that was a late hit out of bounds. Should have been flagged. Osage lucky on that play, and Vaughn really has to keep his head. Yeah, and Myers has been wide open on the last couple of passes. That Osage defense going to have to step enough out there. And here's Patterson now up the middle, close to about the 25-yard line after the gain of three or four. But, man, I'm telling you, in a game like this, that's take another look here. See if you thought this was a little after the play. Yeah, that's right. So there he is. Hard to see where the out-of-bounds line. No, oh, he's out. definitely out. Yeah, but remember Myers taunted him when he went into the end zone that last time. That was Ooh, part of the problem. How about that? And he is down. That's not a fumble. But that's a big hit in the backfield for the Indians. First man there making the stop. Number 48 on the play. Jesse Wormuth, it looks like. So third down and 11. Nice. From the 30-yard line. Kruger out of the gun. They've shown that they can throw the ball well. And the receiver, especially Myers, has been open several times tonight. So uh, we'll see what uh, the defense, the defensive backfield for the Indians can do here. So Kruger out of the gun. Yeah, watch for Myers here, bottom of your screen. Now they're running away from him. Rolled to his right. Kruger across the field, has his man. That's Patterson in a really nice play inside the 15, down to the 13. That's a 17-yard first down. And really, it looks simple, but it was a big-time heads-up play here from Kruger. Watch this, Chris. He is running to his right, makes the first guy miss. Watch the touch. Just throws it over. It's a wounded duck, but it doesn't matter because it's right on the money. Right back at it. Quick throw outside and incomplete. He was looking for Aiden Bryant. Now, remember, Bryant had that interception just a little bit ago. Couldn't haul that in, and that brings up second down and 10. And remember, these Pintos like to go fast. I mean, they spend, they waste little time lining up and running off a new play. They don't huddle up. They just go right up to the line and do it again. Kruger, quick hitter to Dunaway inside. Dunaway. Down to about the 11. So California working inside the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance red zone. They're going to have a big third down here. Yeah, and so far, Osage with four unofficial first downs in the game. California just two. But this Pinto's offense moving the ball and facing another third down here. Third down and seven. Kruger backpedaling. Lots of time. Now throws the other way. He's looking for his man. And there's a flag on the field. 
Might be a block in the back out there, it almost looked like. And nothing doing on that one to Dunaway. Actually goes for about a three or four yard loss. Great job of containment by the Indian defense. So if this penalty is against California, and it is, Osage will decline, and that's going to bring up fourth down and 11 from about the 15-yard line. Well, I tell you what we saw on that PAT, though. Their kicker has got a cannon for a leg. Uh, I wouldn't uh, be surprised at all see them go for a uh, field goal here because that kid, that kid can go for distance. Let's see if they're bringing him out, and they are, Chris. Just like you said, so from the 14-yard line, we're going to be looking at about a 31 or 32 yard field goal here officially. So the hold is going to be made by Martin Kilmer, the junior. It's going to be Adolfo Osio with a 31 yard field goal attempt here to extend the Pinto lead. The hold from Kilmer is good. The kick is up and it looks good and it is. Adolfo Osio from 31 yards out extends the Pinto break. They lead. Or the lead 10 to 6 now with 619 left. We'll be right back on Lake TV after this. This live California Osage game on Lake TV is brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Millard Family Chapels, Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes. SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Sirdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com, and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Hi. I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. And we welcome you back, and not something you see every day at the high school level, a 30-plus yard field goal, and they made it look easy. Wow. Adolfo Osio, the senior, hits from 31 yards out in California. They extend that lead. They're up 10-6. Osage got out to a quick start. It's about two and a half minutes into the game with Derek Bradley with the 19-yard touchdown, but California, after an interception thrown from Connor Vaughn, ends up going the other way after that interception. A 33-yard touchdown pass from Kalen Kruger to Trevor Myers, and then, of course, that Adolfio Osio 31-yard field goal. I don't even think I could punt the ball 31 yards. <laughs> yeah, I know. I uh, probably couldn't throw it 31 yards anymore either. But I tell you what, since that first drive of the game where Osage put it in the end zone, their offense has not been able to do anything since then. And that was a nice kickoff, too. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, Osio follows up the 31-yard field goal with the touchback. And he's off to a great start tonight. May have a chance at tonight's player of the game. Well, I tell you what, I saw the uh, kicker from Kickapoo kick a 49-yard field goal earlier this season against uh, Camdenton. And that kid, I believe, is going to Mizzou. Well, this kid's got another cannon for a leg. He could, uh, I bet he could go to the next level with that leg. We'll send him sooner than next year. I'll tell you, Mizzou needs all the help they can get. <laughs> well, they should have it pretty easy tomorrow. They got like Southeast Missouri State or something. The Red Hawks, <laughs> which you and I could beat the Red Hawks. Yeah, and man. I wouldn't put it past Mizzou to stumble in that game or at least struggle in the early going. Man. No, no disrespect to the Southeast Missouri State Redhawks in Cape Girardeau. We no. love them here at Lake love TV. <laughs> Time out, Osage. We'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. 
It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Hey, we welcome you back here on Lake TV's Game of the Week. we got a Tri-County Conference matchup for you with the visiting California Pintos. They bring that mark of 2-1 and one in tonight, Chris. They lead the Osage Indians with the exact same mark of 2-1. and one. And It's 10-6 to six here, 6-19 left in this first half. Pretty crucial drive here for Osage just yeah. as far as his momentum is concerned. And it was interesting. They called a timeout there. That's one thing Coach Jolly wasn't happy with last week, that they burned timeouts, or they could have won the game in the final seconds. Ball's on the ground, very nearly coughed up. Falling on it is Funderburk, but he looks a little shaken Ooh, up. Yeah. Something with the hand there, it looks like. But that kid again, you know, he is just nothing but heart. Gets up and keeps going. But look at this. He never really had it. He's chasing the ball the whole run and uh, gets down on it, thank goodness. Ends up being a nice little gain on first down of five yards. Something to keep an eye on, Chris. You remember that run to Eric Hood on their last series? They never had this yeah. exchange cleanly. Now that play, that's something to watch. If they start having exchange issues, that could be a big boost for California. Oh, there, there it is again. again. Ball's all over the place. McLaughlin is going to be buried on the play by Tyler Patterson, the senior. And I don't know what's gotten into Brock McLaughlin, but, man, I'm telling you, he had a hard time fielding that cleanly. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, three straight snaps that uh, they've had a problem securing that ball. You wonder if something's off with Brock, maybe. Well, that's a seven-yard loss. Going to bring up third down and 12 on the play. And actually, McLaughlin, he's going to go to the sideline. Yeah. He's going to get replaced here. Back into the game is Connor Vaughn. And so Osage having all kinds of issues here with personnel trying to figure out what makes sense. And I'll tell you, it's been a pretty challenging couple of series for the Indians. Yeah, that's uh, and it's tough here. you got a th you're facing a third down and 12 from your 18. And, and uh, your starting quarterback comes out. We'll see what uh, Connor can do. Here's Vaughn now. Throws across his body and had his brother wide open in the flat. Keegan Vaughn falls incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down and 12. But we do have a flag in the backfield. It's going to be a holding against the Indians. I'm sure California will elect to decline that. So if Osage has to punt here, which it looks like they will, yeah. this is three straight series. You had interception, three and out, and now three and out again. So the Pinto defense after that first series is really tightened up. Yeah, and do you bring Brock McLaughlin back in? You just took him out of the game at quarterback. He's your punter. You put him back in there to punt. Uh, you know what? Uh, I tell you what, a whole lot going on uh, in the inner workings of this Osage team right now as they try to figure some things out. They're still very much in this game. It's just 10 to 6. They're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, they lo look very discombobulated right now. I don't know that who's back there to kick for Osage. Hard to see from here, but it's not McLaughlin. The left hand boot. It's a good one. Fielded by Schloop inside the 50. He's got good yardage inside the 30, inside the 20, all the way down to the 8-yard line, and he finishes the run with a big-time hit running over Vaughn at the 7-yard line. The Pintos are in business after another Drake Schloop solid return. Nice kick, but uh, the coverage not getting down that far. Wide open running lanes, and he finds them and takes it all the way down inside the Mike Heitman uh, State Farm red zone there, and California knocking on the door. And how about the hit he delivered on Connor Vaughn? Yeah. He tried to make the stop and did make the stop. So first down and goal inside the Mike Heitman State Farm insurance red zone for the Pintos. They've scored the last 10 points of the game. Kruger looking to extend that. Quick hitter to the flat, has his man. Bryant, not a lot doing, and he's now going to be hit and taken down all the way back at about the 14-yard line. Officially goes for about a six-yard loss, and will bring up second down and goal. Great job from the defense. They were they smelled that thing out early. They were over there, and there was no, uh, no place to go. Good job from the receiver trying to break a few tackles, but really in the end it just lost a couple more yards for him. That's Caden Bax, number seven. Used to be Bryant Davis. You remember him. Oh. Just remembering that playmaker for the Pintos, but that's Caden Bax, this senior. So on third or second down and goal from the 14, Kruger has Schloop 
No, he's going to keep it on the read option. Up to the 10 before he's taken down by Ashton Carter. So solid play. Gets about four yards and going to bring up third down and goal. But nice fake here. Oh, great job of handling the ball from Kruger. He almost handed it off, kept it, and found a little hole. Picked up some much-needed yardage there. Makes this third down a lot more doable. Yeah, third and goal from the 10. Kruger out of the gun. Little play action. Read option inside the five. He's all the way down to the three before he's taken down there by the Indian secondary. Going to bring up fourth down and goal. And so here on fourth down and short from about the three, do you send in Osio and trying to extend this to a seven-point lead? Or are you gambling here, Chris? You know what? I think uh, California's feeling pretty confident. It looks like they're going to go for it. Yeah, out of the gun. Here's Kruger. Takes the snap. It's batted into the air and incomplete, so a big stop. Kruger, he was looking for Myers on the quick hitter again, but that falls incomplete, and Osage gets a big turnover on downs. Let's see whose big mitt that was, Chris. Nice, good job there. It was uh, number 33, it looks like, that got his hands on it for Osage. Was yeah, that J.P. Cordula. Cordula. Nice, good job, great penetration on that whole drive from the Indians' defense. Uh, I tell you what, that, uh, that was a huge defensive stop for Osage, still just down by four points, 2.52 to go before halftime. So Vaughn back in there at quarterback, and J.P. Cordula, Chris, he's a young uh, player, the junior. He's showed some promise. He's the starting defensive end for Osage over the, through the first three weeks of the season, but that's a big play right there. Let's see if Osage can take advantage. Hood now close to his own end zone, able to get back to about the two, but good pursuit right there by Enoch Dunaway and Tyler Patterson for California. First drive of the game, the uh, Osage offense, four first downs. They put it in the end zone for a touchdown and an early lead, and they honestly have not been able to do anything since that first drive. As California defense has figured some things out, they are shutting down the running lanes. Of course, it helps that uh, star quarterback Brockton McLaughlin uh, injured his ankle and uh, not in the game right now for Osage. Yeah, he's standing there next to Coach Jolly on the sideline, and it remains to be Connor Vaughn's game for the Indians. Out of the gun, Vaughn, quick hitter up the middle. Decent gain up to about the 11, and it looks like the ball might be on the ground. It looks like it was squirting out through there, and I think California might have jumped on that thing. I think they just said California football. Yeah, they come up with it. California with the fumble recovery. Caden Bax comes up with it, and the Pintos have it first and goal at the seven or eight yard line. And here comes the offense, wasting no wow. time. Kruger back out there. Yeah, they just jump right back on it. They don't give you time to breathe. They are in there and going at it. Here's the run, and Funderburg says no siree. That's number 10. Tackle for a loss on the season. Going to bring up second down and goal. So, so far in this game, California's gone for it on fourth down twice. They've been stopped both times. Huge stops for Osage, especially the last one down on the goal line. But Osage with those two costly turnovers so far. Here's the quick hitter. Here's Bryant. He's inside the five, fighting all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Aiden Bryant, the sophomore, refused to go down, and that is an impressive effort from him and California now. Up 16 to six, how about that play? Oh my goodness gracious. He was hit several times and broke every tackle and still didn't go down when he got into the end zone. That was a pretty impressive catch and run. So Osio back in to attempt the extra point. Kilmer, the hold, nicely done there, and Osio bangs it through. So California, 17 straight points. They lead 17 to six. We'll be back after this. Sometimes we take things for granted, but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small, because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. 
It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end, advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. As we welcome you back to Lake TV's coverage of live high school football, Chris, man, this was a game that looked like Osage was about to run away with. They were up 6-0, had the ball, and were driving. California looked to be dead in the water. And now they've dropped 17 consecutive points, and they lead by 11 with 133 to go in this first half, and they're going to get that second-half kickoff to start the second half. Yeah, they look like they're getting stronger and stronger as this game goes on. Here's Hunter Graber making some moves across midfield. How about this return? All the way up to the 39-yard line. And I'll tell you, that short kick backfires yeah. on the Pintos as Hunter Graber, the front man. Well, he's one of the best players on this Osage team. Kicked it to him short. He makes a couple guys miss, and the rest is history. But watch this. Catches at the 34. Really nice return. Yeah, and I tell you what, Osage really needed that. They've kind of been reeling. Uh, the offense has been doing nothing the last uh, uh, few drives. And what, are they going to move the ball back here? No, so we have a penalty flag here over on the far sideline. It's holding against Osage. Ouch. That negates an outstanding mm. return from Graber. And the Indians now have one timeout with a minute 26 to work with as they trail 11 heading into the break. Oh, and you know that just uh, eats on Coach Jolly. A huge penalty that uh, results in what about a... What is this, a, like a 20-yard, 40-yard penalty? Well, it would have had it at the 40. So, yeah, you're looking at 21 yards. That's yeah. a big-time penalty. Yeah. Is Vaughn in here out of the gun. Play action. Rolling to his right. Eludes one would-be tackler. Ooh. Throws and intercepted by Kalen Kruger. What an interception with one hand. Oh, my goodness. Mm. That is a big-time play. And I'd say that's the second interception thrown by Vaughn. But that's more of a great play by Kalen Kruger than it is. And, you know, not the greatest of throws. But you can't take away this play from Kalen Kruger. Oh, my goodness. You know, and Vaughn's just trying to make a play. But he really should not have thrown that ball. The receiver was not open. Graber was well covered and what a nice catch from Kruger but already three turnovers for this Osage offense and uh, as we've talked about in the past they they do tend this year they tend to shoot themselves in the foot and so far they're doing a pretty good job of that. Here's Kruger going to take a shot for Myers on the outside. Makes an adjustment and falls incomplete. Nice job defensively from Derek Bradley knocking that one down brings up second down and ten but you can tell California. They've got the momentum. They've got that confidence. And yep. at this point, they don't really feel like this Osage defense can stop them. They feel pretty good. 17 unanswered points. And uh, I'll tell you what, that passing game is pretty impressive. Kruger can throw it. And both Myers and Bryant have shown they're very talented receivers. So here's second down. Kruger still on his feet. Throws in low. Looking for his receiver on the near sideline. And Nice pressure from J.P. Cordula once again. He delivers the quarterback hit. He's the reason that was an errant throw. Yeah. So third down and 10. Osage, if they can find a way to prevent California from scoring here, they really keep themselves in this game, Absolutely. Chris. Absolutely, with just 107 to go before halftime. Good job from the uh, defensive line getting some, some pressure on the quarterback. Kruger now, quick hitter. He's got... His guy out in the flat, Vaughn, buries him at the 45 after a modest gain of about three or four. That time he had his man Caden Bax, the senior, but not enough for a first down. And with 55 seconds to go, neither team looks like they're in a big hurry as California. Man, I'll tell you, I would take advantage. I know it's fourth down, but... I was just thinking the same thing. If I were uh, the Pintos, I'd probably go for it with the clock running in 35 seconds and a half. But you take that chance if you don't give it a uh, slight opening of the door for Osage to do something in the final seconds and uh, pull closer. So Keegan Vaughn back to receive for Osage. Tanner Myers, or Trevor Myers, sorry, into punt for California. The clock inside 18 and California burns the timeout so we'll have this punt after this. 
Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Dig, mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best-selling compact tractor, the Kubota L-Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion. Power. Performance. Visit your local Crown Power and equipment dealership today. And we are back here on Lake TV. Just 17 and a half seconds left in a second quarter that has been owned by California. They were down 6 nothing after that first quarter concluded, Chris. But California, they scored 17 unanswered. And look, now they're doing exactly what you thought they yep. might. Going to go for it here in the final seconds. And probably taking a shot downfield toward the end zone. Looking for Myers, and he's got it inside oh. the 15 to the house. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Kalen Kruger with a dime, and it's Myers who makes an incredible play. Oh, my goodness, Chris. 45-yard oh, dart. Yeah. And watch the play by Myers. And why not take a shot in the final seconds? He puts it up there. Pretty good coverage, but it gets through, and uh, they can't bring him down, and he just bumbles, stumbles, rumbles right into the end zone. Yeah, I don't know. Vaughn and Bradley both had a shot and didn't make the play. California now, they're going to attempt to turn this into an 18-point lead. Osio, the extra point is up, and it is no good as he is wide right. So 23-6, your score. We'll be back to wrap up the first half after this. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. You know the meaning of dedication. The early mornings and the late nights spent pursuing your dream. The commitment and passion to turn those dreams into reality. That spirit of dedication is why Central Bank is always there, working behind the scenes helping you navigate those twists and turns in your journey with solutions that are tailored to meet your business needs. Central Bank, we do business better. California scoring 23 unanswered. And boy, I'll tell you what, that was just a great call. Mm. Pintos decided to take a shot on fourth down and six. And Myers, he just climbed the ladder, took it away from two Pinto defenders and does the rest. 45 yards later, he's inside the end zone and the Osage faithful wondering, how did we get here? Uh, you know, and they always say it's a game of inches, but there you see it again. You know, the uh, defender was right there, just a couple of inches away from knocking that down. Should have made the tackle, didn't happen. And all of a sudden, this is almost getting out of reach. Here's the return for Eric Hood up to about the 25 with Two ticks left in the first half, so with 1.7 left, I'm sure this will be the last play, and Osage may just take a knee. Now, after this first half is over, we'll have our halftime show presented by Millard Family Chapels right here on Lake TV. Chris and I will recap the first half and look ahead to the second half, and Osage has their work cut out for them down 17 points. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Millard Family Chapels, uh, Reed Millard, going to be a guest on Lake TV's Community Spotlight show here in a couple weeks. Yeah, that's one subject that uh, people usually don't talk about, right? Death and taxes. Uh, so we'll talk with him about that whole industry, which is fascinating. Yeah, and he is a neat guy, too. Also a professional race car driver and really a mentor to so many people over the state of Missouri and Vaughn takes the niece. We'll take a commercial break when we come back, folks. It is our halftime show presented by Millard Family Chapels. 
Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have 2x6 exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. Your car and boat are your pride and joy. Here at Extensive Detailing at Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, we're ready to create a shine that lasts. If you want the best, most thorough detail of the lake, it's time to schedule your free consultation. No time, no problem. We can come to you at work, the dock, or at your home, so you never have to change your schedule. And don't forget about our industry-leading ceramic coating for any surface you want to protect. With Extensive Detailing at Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, you're one call away from the cleanest boat or car you've ever seen since you took it off the lot. Welcome back to beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Hi, this is Greg at Cernak Yamaha in Osage Beach. Getting out on the water has never been so important to you and your family. With warmer weather on the horizon, now is the perfect time to get your new Yamaha Wave Runner or sport boat ready for some fun. Here at Cernak Yamaha, we've got just what you need. Our 2021 lineup of Yamaha Wave Runners and sport boats features sleek new designs and enhanced technology so you can enjoy the premium boating experience powered by the number one brand on the water. Cernak Yamaha has been family owned and operated since 1971 and this year we are proud to celebrate 50 years for job opportunities as well as recreation opportunities visit Sirdak Yamaha on Osage Beach today you ride on our reputation at Gary Sirdak you ride on our reputation you ride on our reputation it's now time for the Mildred Family Chapel's Funeral Home Halftime Show with Will and Chris. It is our Millard Family Chapel's Halftime Show here on Lake TV, and it's Osage's senior night tonight, Chris. And, man, didn't get off to the start. They wanted it. I mean, I guess it did up 6 nothing with the ball. However, it was California. They scored 23 unanswered points, and they lead at the break 23-6. to And we're going to catch you up on how all that happened. But first, beautiful performance from tonight's band on tonight's halftime show. Oh, okay. So Ricky tells us to keep talking. That yeah. is the first time I've ever heard it. <laughs> first time anybody's me. ever told you to keep talking, right? Yeah, as the first time. So I'll take it. So senior <laughs> night, man, I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun. You get to celebrate your senior cheerleaders, your senior band members, your senior color guard, and of course, your senior playmakers on the football team. Uh, but for Osage, they've got their work cut out for wow. them in this second half, and they want their seniors to remember tonight for a different reason besides it just being senior night. And California going to get the ball first to start the second half and with that 17 point lead Osage I'm telling you what be interesting to see is it Connor Vaughn or is it Brock McLaughlin in that second half because Osage is going to have to score a lot of points but on top of that they're going to have to find a way to prevent this California offense from scoring. Not sure what happened to Brock McLaughlin you, you know uh, they had a broken play and he tried to run it a little bit got tackled in the backfield it looked very innocent uh, but he got up limping uh, right ankle something happened there off the field for a couple of series when he went back in he was just off, you yeah. know. He, he he just even had a hard time catching the snap, handing it off. Three straight snaps. It was almost turned over and fumbled. So they pull him out of there and just not the same after that. So Osage, is, hopefully they can go in at halftime, get some things figured out because they're down 23-6. They're going to have to put together quite a comeback. No doubt. We'll tell you more about that. But now time for a little bit of band action.
It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Lake of the Ozarks is the boating capital of the Midwest. Did you know that your prop is the most important part of your boat? With nearly 30 years of propeller repair at Lake of the Ozarks, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, is the choice for you. The most advanced in propeller repair and scanning, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, can help you boat smarter, go farther, and last longer on beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist. Go with the best or stay on shore with the rest. Hey Indian fans, we know you're crazy about Osage Indians football, and so are we here at Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant. Conveniently located just down the road from the Indians home field, we want to wish the Indians the best of luck this season. Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant, open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week, home to a top 15 golf course in the state of Missouri, and the proud official golf club of Osage Indians football on Lake TV. Go Indians! Get ready for 2021 at your favorite lake lodging destination, the Lodge at Port Arrowhead. Featuring over 140 spacious guest rooms, freshly remodeled bathrooms, an updated indoor pool area with so much more. Come see the updated Lodge at Port Arrowhead, the lake's hottest lake getaway without the lake getaway price. Most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement. Whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process the mile marker formula that helps you pursue your work optional lifestyle so you can focus on what's most important to you, like your family or checking off those bucket list items. Start taking the first step toward finding your work optional lifestyle. Call us today at 573-302-7212. And we welcome you back to Lake TV's coverage of live high school football. It's from a large family chapel's halftime show. And yeah. Chris, we alluded to it. Man, Osage, a dream start. They got that first touchdown from Derek Bradley, 20 yards out. Then they missed the extra point. It was 6 yeah. nothing. They get the ball back in their driving. Looks like, oh, here come the Indians in a route. But, boy, I'm telling you what, that dynamic changed very, very quickly. Yeah, I tell you what, this, uh, this California team is... They're going to be uh, somebody to be reckoned with this year because they got some serious talent. Uh, they didn't start off this game the way they wanted to, but, man, did they recover, and they just got stronger and stronger and stronger as the game went on. 23 unanswered points. Unofficially, uh, four first downs for uh, the Indians in that first half, all on that first drive, the touchdown drive. Yeah. After that, they were shut down. California didn't have many first downs, but they didn't need many after that. They were scoring fast and furious. And remember, Coach Womack told us before the game, he wants to try to run 90 plays. I mean, so they're hurry up. They get up there. They do things fast and quick. And they've gone for three fourth downs already. One of those went for a touchdown just before half. Look out for this California team. Yeah, and they may not hit 90, and that might be because they're ripping off 30, 40, 50-yard plays. Yeah. I mean, after Osage got out to that lead, they had a big-time takeaway. They ended up having three takeaways yeah. in that first half, and that's really been uh, Osage's issue so far this year is penalties and takeaways, and they had plenty of penalties as well yeah. in that first half. But if you look at it, man, I'm telling you, Kalen Kruger looked good. He had three touchdown passes, two, of course, to Myers. You remember the first one, the quick slant yeah. from third. 33 yards out. Of course, didn't get Aiden Bryant 
from the 10 yard line. Yeah. And Aiden made it all happen. You know, took five or six Indians into the end zone with them. Let's get a look here. Here's the first one from 33 yards out. Trevor Myers and that quick slant just left him in the dust. Now you saw him kind of give that wave a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and here's from 10 yards out, Aiden Bryant there. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five. The whole six, team is there. 133. Yeah. So, I mean, it took them all, and he still was able to go in on his feet. And then here's the play. That was the big backbreaker. Yeah, just before right? halftime. Fourth and six, Chris. Yeah. And you see, just throwing it up, uh, and it gets in there, gets through the defense. There was two defenders there. Uh, number one, they couldn't knock it down. Number two, they couldn't bring him down. And that was a killer right there for Osage. Yeah, and, of course, Adolfo Osio, he added a 31-yard field goal. And so your score still 23-6, to six, and it's California out in front. And they're going to Received that second half kickoff. Now for Osage, you got some question marks. First, you've had three turnovers. Second, you've had some exchange issues between your quarterback and getting the snap. And lastly, you're not even sure your quarterback's going to be in this third quarter yeah. because Brock McLaughlin, he looks a little shaken up. But Connor Vaughn's coming. He's had two interceptions, and you can't blame the kid for trying to make a play. But those are big turnovers in a game when you're down three scores at 17 points. You really need your signal caller in there to get that offense gelling. And so for Osage, Chris, I said it, I'll say it again. They got their work cut out for them. It's a huge this really, this might be the most important half of the season for Osage. You might think I'm kidding, but I'm not because they're trying to figure stuff out right now. They lost last week, so they're trying to figure out how to overcome and bounce back from a loss. First half here was not good. Uh, McLaughlin injured and then uh, did not play well after that. they got to figure a lot of things out in the second half. If they can figure some things out, then uh, that's going to go a long way play for the rest of the season. If not, it might be a while before they figure it out. So your score, 23 to 6. We're going to take a commercial break as we conclude tonight's halftime show presented by Millard Family Chapels. When we come back from that break, the second half of the California Pintos and the Osage Indians. This live California Osage game on Lake TV is brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Millard Family Chapels, Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes, SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Serdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com, and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Sometimes we take things for granted. But it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small, because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Dig, mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. 
Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best selling compact tractor, the Kubota L Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion, power, performance. Visit your local Crown Power and Equipment dealership today. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. You know the meaning of dedication. The early mornings and the late nights spent pursuing your dream. The commitment and passion to turn those dreams into reality. That spirit of dedication is why Central Bank is always there, working behind the scenes helping you navigate those twists and turns in your journey with solutions that are tailored to meet your business needs. Central Bank, we do business better. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have two by six exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. And we welcome you back as we get a good look at tonight's fan camp presented by Ozark Homes in the Osage student section. They are not counting their home team out yet, Chris. Still a full half of play left. However, California, they're in control of this one, 23 to 6. And as we told you, they're going to get the football first in the second half. But the big question mark for the home team, Chris, is, is it going to be Connor Vaughn? Is it going to be Brock McLaughlin that comes out at quarterback? And either way, they're going to have to figure out the exchange issues and the turnovers, regardless of who's at quarterback. Because like we said, they have to prevent California from scoring. And they need at least three scores here in the second half. Well, and Brock can throw the ball, too. I mean, he, uh, he can run like the wind when he's healthy. Not sure with that uh, sore ankle if he would be able to do a whole lot of running tonight, but he's got a cannon for an arm. So if you're going to have to throw the ball to climb back into this game, they're down 23 to 6. Might be nice to have uh, your starting quarterback, Brockton McLaughlin, in there. And, and he's had a lot of passing success in the last couple of years with, uh, with Graber and others. So they have the firepower to, uh, to try and make it happen. We'll just see if if they have the uh, opportunity and ability to get it done here in the second half. They won the first quarter, lost the second quarter. Uh, now they're down 23 to six. Yeah, I mean, impressive showing for Coach Womack's team in that first half. Like we said, 23 unanswered points. And man, their offense kind of did what they wanted after they stumbled out of the gates in that first quarter. Yeah. They own that second quarter, Chris. And they're looking to really make a statement here on their opening series. Yeah. So the kick is away and fielded by Sloop at about the 20. He's got good yardage, a lot of green, and all the way up to about the 46-yard line in California. That's a trend they're getting used to here over these last three or four series, just great starting field possession. Yeah, absolutely, and they come into this second half with a ton of confidence because they dominated the second quarter, and uh, Osage really had a tough time stopping them as that uh, quarter went along. So we'll see uh, how the defense does coming out in the second half. Kruger out of the gun. To his right is Dunaway. Dunaway going to get the carry inside Osage territory, and he's all the way up to about the 44-yard line. He's got a central bank Lake of the Ozarks first down for California, and that is exactly how they wanted to start this second half. Yeah, and uh, again, they line up quickly. They don't huddle. They're a, a quick-paced offense, and here they're right at it again. Same play, back-to-back -back times. Dunaway now this time bounces outside, has good yardage, and cleaned up on the other side. Ashton Carter cleans it up. First guy there for the Indians. That is number 87, Luke Willenbrock, who gets his first start at tight end tonight for the Indians. But second and three now, 11:36 in California. Man, they move so quick, Chris. The chain gang didn't even have time to get set up prior to that play. And Dunaway was hurt on the sideline over there. He didn't come back in. 
That's going to be Patterson on the carry spelling Dunaway. So we'll keep you up on Dunaway, who was able to walk off on his own accord, but you said he was shaking, huh? Yeah, he got uh, uh, the tackler fell on him over there, uh, making the tackle out of bounds, and, and he got up like he uh, might have had the wind knocked out of him. Here's the give again up the middle to Patterson, who just carries Indian defenders with him up to the 25-yard line. That's another impressive gain of seven. Brings up a very manageable second and three. And you get a feeling here with these runs up the middle, you're just waiting for that play action and that shot to the end zone here. Yeah, a lot Kalen of the Kruger. firepower in the first half from California was through the air. Here they're flexing their muscle, running the ball. There it is. They're looking up the seam. He's got him. Touchdown. And that's Drake Schloop right on the money. Chris, you saw that coming as they continued to run the play action to Schloop from 25 yards out in California in control. They lead 29 to 6 and what a ball right there up the seam to Schloop and Kruger has his fourth touchdown pass of the night. Boy, that was easy peasy. He was wide open. You or I could have hit him for that touchdown. Uh, just a nice move, but yeah, when you pound the ball up the middle, picking up big yards. It's going to open up the passing game and uh, work like clockwork there. Adolfo Osio. The kick is up and it is good. So a 10-49, 30-6 your score. California all over the Indians. We'll be back after this. Your car and boat are your pride and joy. Here at Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, we're ready to create a shine that lasts. If you want the best, most thorough detail of the lake, it's time to schedule your free consultation. No time, no problem. We can come to you at work, the dock, or at your home, so you never have to change your schedule. And don't forget about our industry-leading ceramic coating for any surface you want to protect. With Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, you're one call away from the cleanest boat or car you've ever seen since you took it off the lot. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it. Now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today. Available on the App Store and Google Play. And we are back here on Lake TV as Osio is set to kick for the Pintos. The Indians, they are in desperate need of getting something going here offensively. Field it at about the seven by Bradley. He's got some good yardage. He's got a hole across the 35 and then taken down at about the 38 yard line. Nice tackle on the play from Walker Friedmeier and Osage first and 10 now at their own 34 yard line. Yeah, and coming into this game, the uh, Indians lost this matchup against California last year at California, but before that, they'd won the previous four years. So uh, the if California can keep this going, they're up 30 to six early here in the third quarter. If they can keep it going, uh, the tide might be turning in this head-to-head -head matchup. Yeah, McLaughlin not out there. It's Vaughn. He gives it to Thunder Burke, and he's going to be. Taken down. He runs into a wall. First two guys there, Isaac Currens as well as Jackson Cassill. And Cassill, we've called his name all night, number 40 for the Pintos. Just a modest gain of one. And I'll tell you, for Osage, you don't have the same sense of urgency as California. They run that hurry up offense. That'd yeah. be what you'd expect Osage maybe to go to down 24 points here. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Indians again just trying to figure things out with the uh, quarterback situation and with the offense doing nothing since early in the first quarter. Impressive pursuit defensively. First guy there, Caden Bax. Trevor Myers in to clean it up for California. And how about this Pinto team, Chris? Wow. I tell you what, they've just gotten better in every every aspect of the game since that first drive when they fell behind 6-0. The offense looking pretty powerful, and the defense has just, just absolutely shut the door on this Osage uh, Indians offense since, since that first drive where they put it in the end zone. So 9.30 left, Connor Vaughn, he's facing a third and 10. Unofficially, unofficially uh, the Indians three for seven on third down conversions. Vaughn, good protection into the flat and can't hit his brother. Once again, he was looking for 
Keegan Vaughn. And so fourth and 10 now, Chris, I think Osage gonna have to punt again. Yeah, they are. And again, with Brockton McLaughlin, your usual punter, uh, not playing, they're probably gonna have to have the, the uh, backup punter in there again as well. And uh, we see Brockton there on the sideline. Uh, and he is standing, he's on his feet. So, uh, but he, he is kind of favoring that right ankle a little bit though. Yeah, interesting if he'll get back in there tonight, but back to punt is the freshman. And that is Isaac Stark back there. He stands at his own 25 yard line. Oops. Whistles and looks like we might have a penalty flag, maybe a delay of game here. Yeah. Maybe so, and the, uh, the punt uh, defense has not been too good for Osage. At least it wasn't in that first half. We had some decent punts. Wasn't covered very well. Some very nice returns for California. Maybe they can try to angle it away from the returners a little bit, try to, to keep the, uh, the returns down because the Pintos have put themselves in really good position starting off drives there starting the second quarter on. Yeah, and it seems like they're good punts, Chris, but when they're that low and the coverage doesn't have time to get down there, it gives the return man time to see the field and decide where the hole is at. Mm -hmm. And so he's got to get more hang time. See, that right there was a better punt. Yeah, got more look, air time. Even though it didn't, get, uh, it didn't get super deep down the field, it also didn't allow for a return for California. So they have it first and 10 at their own 42-yard line now. 9.09 left in this third quarter of play. And, Chris, California, they score here. They could deliver that nail into the coffin pretty yeah. early. I tell you what, it's 30-6. to six. Yeah, if they put it in the end zone here, then uh, it might be lights out after that. It'll be interesting to see what the Pintos do if they try to run the ball, run the clock, and, uh, you know, just, uh, just milk things out, or if they're going to go for the jugular here keep it on the ground on the first play trying to get outside and doing so and that's a nice run by Dunaway right there and that was sneaky quick Chris didn't look like a lot was there and yeah. he ended up turning that into a central bank Lake of the Ozarks first down into Osage territory and again just like about everything else with this California team tonight Dunaway is really impressive he's 5'7 210 pounds but you saw the quickness there I mean he's really really quick yeah you're not kidding and California, they got a handful of good players. And speaking of which, Kalen Kruger tucks and runs. We do have a penalty marker back at about the 45-yard line. Back this where, one may be coming back. Yeah, usually that's uh, in the area of where they get a holding right there. Nice run from Kruger, though. Dropped back to pass the ball. Couldn't find anybody. Found an opening and uh, had some first down yardage there. But this is going to be coming back. Yeah, and it's unfortunate for California because that's just another great play by Kruger. It looked like a busted play, had some pressure in his face, and he has the wherewithal to tuck it and run and turns it into an eight-yard gain. But that hold could have helped him out just a little bit. Yeah, I tell you what, that hold could uh, help out Osage a lot if they can step up and uh, stop the Pintos on this drive. It's a first and 20 from the 44. Kruger on the play action sets up the screen. He's got Dunaway. Dunaway trying to make something happen. Has decent yardage, but not a ton. We'll give him five or six. Going to bring up second down and long. Nice job. And again, Kruger, he knew exactly what to do. He let the pressure get closer to him, so he was able to float the screen pass in there. And Dunaway, he gets seven. And I tell you what, really nice uh, design to that screenplay. Wide open. Picked up some good yards. Once again, he's got Myers complete. Down to about the 20. Two yard line, Chris, outstanding. 27 yards, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down, and Myers continues to haunt this Osage secondary. Yeah, look at that great camera coverage. Nice try on the defense. He just couldn't quite get in there and knock it down. And Myers is impressive catching the ball. Isaac Luttrell, the sophomore, with the stop on the play, gonna bring up second down after a short loss. But yeah, beautiful throw, great catch, and it was a good effort defensively, but every time a better throw beats that good defense, and that's the case for Kruger. Yeah, and again, just inches away Bradley was from knocking that ball down. Run up the middle. Decent yardage, but not a ton. He's got it down to about the 19-yard line in California. We'll have this third down inside the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance red zone. 7.30 left in our third quarter. And Chris Osage, they need something to change. They need something big. They need a takeaway. Yep. They need someone to get a big tackle for a loss, but they need something. Quick hitter here to Myers inside the 10. 
down to the five, still on his feet into the end zone for the third time tonight. Trevor Myers, a man amongst boys. Are you kidding me? Wow, I tell you what, and it's uh, it's no different than from every from what they've been doing earlier in the game. He does a quick slant, uh, just cuts right in. He's wide open, uh, catches the ball there, and touched one, two, three. There's five guys around him. None of them can get him down, and he just. Uh, just uh, trots into the end zone there. Looks like a flag on the field. And, you know, I'll tell you what, Myers is just plaguing wow. this Osage team. That's five touchdown passes tonight for Kalen Kruger. He's also had an interception. And for Myers, that's his third grab. That's went for a score tonight, and Osage gets flagged. And they're getting frustrated as California is just taking it to them yeah. tonight. Uh, how long was that? How long? long of a pass was that? That was, like you said, three touchdown passes for Trevor Myers. The first one of the game, uh, the one right before halftime, and then that one. 19 yards on the touchdown, and tell you what, Osio, he's had a good night as well. Missed one extra point, but did nail a 31-yard field goal, and this extra point is also no good, so it's 7-20. It is California, 36. Osage 6 will be right back. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Lake of the Ozarks is the boating capital of the Midwest. Did you know that your prop is the most important part of your boat? With nearly 30 years of propeller repair at Lake of the Ozarks, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, is the choice for you. The most advanced in propeller repair and scanning, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, can help you boat smarter, go farther, and last longer on beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist. Go with the best or stay on shore with the rest. 36 to 6 and early midway through this third quarter. I tell you what, it is not going well for Osage and uh, the Indians coach Jolly down on the sideline, not too happy. Yeah, I mean, the effort in the secondary, Chris, I understand getting burnt or getting beat, but, man, when there's three or four guys there and you're just getting run over and not wrapping up, I mean, that's one thing he focused on. we got to hit low, we got to wrap up, and Osage hasn't done that tonight, so and Coach we, Jolly got lots to be frustrated yeah. about. We saw it last week, too, with uh, with Mr. Veach that ran for – or ran for five touchdowns, caught another one. He just ran through this. Osage defense had trouble tackling him. We're seeing that again tonight. Osio trying to kick the field goal from midfield. Uh, goes into the end zone for a touchback, and here come the Indians down 30 with 7.20 left. So Trevor Myers, and uh, after the game, Wild William Holtz is going to be interviewing the game-winning coach and the player of the game, which very easily could be Trevor Myers with three touchdown catches, one from uh, 33 yards, one from 45, and the last one just a few minutes ago from 19 yards out. Yeah, there's a couple of good candidates, not just that, but Kruger's got five touchdown passes Ooh, as well as an interception on defense. So we'll have our work cut out for us on our end, selecting tonight's player of the game. So look who's back out there. McLaughlin now, play action into the flat, has his man. Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down on that play as Osage up to about the 34-yard line, good gainer of 14 yards, and they're going to have to hurry up themselves here. Oh, yeah, they got along with they're down by 30 points midway through this third quarter. But you see the difference that McLaughlin makes there. Uh, you know, he, there, he's got that gun for a uh, for an arm, nice throw right on the money. And uh, first, I think that's the first first down since the first quarter for the Osage Indians. Another run this time, it's Eric Hood. Has good yardage up to about the 40 yard line. We'll give him six yards. Brings up second down and four. Man, Hood has been quiet tonight. Chris, we haven't called his name a lot. No, the whole offense has been quiet since that first drive. But Coach Jolly was literally yelling at the players down there uh, after that last touchdown. And again, you know, when you got a team uh, 
first year coach. They're going through a transition. They got to work a lot of these things out. This is sometimes you do it on the field like this. Second down and four. It's Derek Bradley with the carry. Not a whole lot. Going to bring up third down and short after a modest gain of two. Tell you what, uh, Bradley, these guys are in such good shape because most of these guys, like Bradley, go both ways. He's not just running the ball, picking up a couple yards like on that, but he was also on the defensive coverage of uh, that last touchdown pass. Just missed knocking it down by, uh, by a couple of inches. But uh, can you imagine You're going both ways, playing a full game like that out there? Man, that'd be dif difficult. I have a hard time imagining playing one play with some of these guys <laughs> no. out here. Yeah. Oh. Hard count gets yep. the jump, and so finally a penalty goes in the favor of the Indians. They're going to catch a break, and that's officially going to be a central bank. Lick of the Ozarks first down on the offside, so McLaughlin making that difference here in this first series back in here. Huge, Dan. That's two straight first downs on this drive for Osage, uh, and ev even if they're not able to come back, they need to put some, some things together here. So we'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. Hey, Indian fans, we know you're crazy about Osage Indians football, and so are we here at Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant. Conveniently located just down the road from the Indians' home field, we want to wish the Indians the best of luck this season. Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant, open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week, home to a top 15 golf course in the state of Missouri, and the proud official golf club of Osage Indians football on Lake TV. Go Indians! Get ready for 2021 at your favorite lake lodging destination, the Lodge at Port Arrowhead. Featuring over 140 spacious guest rooms, freshly remodeled bathrooms, an updated indoor pool area with so much more. Come see the updated Lodge at Port Arrowhead, the lake's hottest lake getaway without the lake getaway price. And we welcome you back in Osage after the first down. They're gonna have it first and 10 at their own 47 yard line, 537 left here in this third quarter of play. And Chris, as much as Osage has struggled, I think it's as much the case as how impressive California is yeah. coming here under Seth Womack. Remember, they had a great year last year. This is a good California team. Bradley on the carry. Has decent yardage as he's into California territory. But, you know, down 30 points, picking up three, four, five yards of play, which is the typical formula for success for Osage. Not going to do so much tonight when you're down 30 points with just a quarter and a half to go. And I'm not sure Osage even built to come back from 30 points down. And so maybe they're now at this point going to use the rest of tonight's game to try to work out some of those kinks and get ready for next week. Because, boy, they got Hallsville next week, and that's not going to be an easy no, contest. They've got a real tough schedule. I had Hallsville, Boonesville, Blair Oaks yet on the schedule. Southern Boone. You know, they do have Versailles, which could be a decent game. And Bradley, a nice run up to the 36-yard line. That's another Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first, first down. So 451 left. And Osage, they score here, Chris. You turn it to about a 22-point game with you know, a couple minutes left in the third. You're not out of it yet, but boy, a lot of things would have to go right for Osage. Yeah, but and you're right. I mean, it's not just necessarily playing for a comeback in this game, although that is the immediate idea, but it is trying to put the pieces together. They've still got, you know, a lot of the season to go, and they, they need to figure these things out, but they really are. Look at this run. Eric Hood still on his feet to the house from 36 yards out. That's a great start. If Osage does make a comeback tonight, so solid run. And Eric Hood, we just talked about not saying his name a lot. And then he goes 36 yards to the house. Look at this run, Chris. Wow. And he just goes right through him. He shows his strength and his speed. He was not going to be denied. Gets in the end zone. That is a very big touchdown for Osage. Yeah, still 422 left in the third. So that was a great play when they really needed it. Now they're going to look at their defense and see if they can't get them a big time stop. Going to go for two here. And they're obviously down 36 12. They need every point they can pick up. So McLaughlin out of the shotgun. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to keep it and he's going to be into the end zone. And the two point conversion is good. So a solid series there for Osage. They're able to score and hit the two point conversion. So 422 left. They trail by 22 to California. We'll be right back after this. 
Most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement. Whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process, the mile marker formula, that helps you pursue your work optional lifestyle. So you can focus on what's most important to you, like your family, or checking off those bucket list items. Start taking the first step toward finding your work optional lifestyle. Call us today at 573-302-7212. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. And we welcome you back to Lake TV's coverage of live high school football. And Chris, it has been all California, but a big time play there. Eric Hood from about 35 yards out. Two point conversion is good. So Osage now, like I said, they're going to look to their defense and see if they can't give them a stop because, heck, if they're able to score, you know, close to the start of this fourth quarter, even with a little time left. You know, don't look now, but that's a tall task to stop uh, Kalen Kruger in this Pinto offense. Tell you what, uh, it, it, they just had a new fire in them that time on that drive. That worked out in their favor. It did. Two guys colliding and back at the 21 yard line, and that's the furthest California has started inside their own territory since early in this game. So see if that touchdown doesn't light a spark, but I mean, it's going to be hard to slow down Kalen Kruger. Five touchdown passes through the first two and a half quarters of this game. And like I said, he also had a one-handed interception on defense that led to a touchdown. Um, so he's just had an outstanding game. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, until that last touchdown for Osage, California had scored 36 unanswered points. Here's Drake Schloop trying to get to the outside, and he will. Ashton Carter able to take him down with some help. But another big gain for California. Yeah, they're just uh, moving the ball pretty much at will here uh, the last couple of quarters and uh, here into the, the last of the third. And we'll see if they're, they make more of an effort to keep the ball on the ground and keep that clock moving. See, so getting a little chippy down there. Nice run up the middle, and that's a first down. Another one for California, and officially eight first downs on this game. Seven first downs for Osage after that last drive. But the Pintos haven't needed many first downs because they've had a lot of big, uh, big yardage plays. This one first down here. Quick hitter into the flat for Bryant. Falls incomplete. So coverage on the play by Bradley. And Bryant's another player we've been impressed with. Oh, Aiden Bryant, just a sophomore, made a nice interception earlier defensively. And then his touchdown on offense, man, took the whole team. And he still didn't go down. So he looks impressive. And, man, for California, they're just full of solid players. Yeah, and we've got their next three games, I believe, here on Lake TV. We're going to see what this team can do. But if they're like tonight, they're going to be a tough, uh, tough team all year. Man, Dunaway looked like he was taken down in the backfield, but all of a sudden your attention shifts. He was actually five yards down the field with the ball and an Osage defender holding on for dear life. So that brings up third and four, and here's an opportunity for Osage to get a stop. Yeah, this is big. This is huge. And they get it in the backfield. Bury him. And the ball carrier is Enoch Dunaway. Going to bring up fourth down and a long two, maybe three. So we'll see what California chooses to do. They're right close to midfield and not really thinking you want to give it to Osage with this kind of field position. Yeah, we'll see what uh, Coach Womack wants to do. They line up as if they're going to go for it here. They're going to try to get them off sides. Penalty flags. Looked like they moved. Yeah, it's going to go against the offense, so backs him up another five, and now you basically guarantee a punt situation. So for Osage, 247 left in the third, and they're getting it back, and I think California only burned about a minute off the clock on that series. Yeah, that was big. If, uh, if indeed they do punt the ball, Osage get it back, possibly with some pretty good field position, uh, then, uh, heck, who knows? They could climb back in, make this an interesting fourth quarter. Myers set to punt, gets it away. Vaughn back at his own 25, takes it there, has some room across the 40. Good return up to about the 43 yard line and here come the Indians. Very nice, so Osage after going down 
36 to 6 scored the last time they had it and they get the ball back. And you see that penalty marker there close to the 43 yard line as Vaughn, he shake it up on that play, but we'll wait and see what the official calls here. Yeah, and the flag is right about where the tackle was made. Looks it's like it's going to be a face mask yep. on the defense. Yeah, so that's a big penalty. And wow. man, I'm telling you, Osage starting to catch a couple breaks, starting yeah. to make some plays. And for them, an opportunity here. They score it. It'd be 21 36 going into the fourth, the two score game. And Whole new ball game at that point. Wow, yeah. I mean, uh, they were down. They gave up 36 unanswered points, down 36 to 6 at one point. So uh, their last drive, they drive down the field, score a touchdown, get the two-point conversion. They've got it back on their own, what, 48-yard line here. Uh, I tell you what, they, they have an opportunity. Yeah, but what happens when Osage gets back into the game and they start turning Kalen Kruger loose? Can this Osage secondary stop him when he's able to run around? And I think that's going to be a concern. But first, Osage has to do their own work on offense. Yeah. Low snap. Hood tripped up, and he's going to be bottled up and taken down there. About a loss of one on the play. In on the play for California. Ryan Bly, the senior. First man there, and that's going to bring up second and 11. Good job uh, from the uh, the uh, defensive lineman there for the Pintos. There was no room to run for Hood there. Lost almost a yard. It's going to be second and 11 here. Yeah, and it's so interesting because Osage so slow to progress and so slow to get that play in. You know, every time that play clock down below seven or eight seconds when they finally snap it. And now, so you burn all that clock, and then you get a penalty flag. Mm. That doesn't help in a comeback attempt when you're down by uh, 22 points. No, I mean, it's just frustrating for them. The play clock was at four when they went to snap it and wasting a lot of time here. Luckily, on the penalty, the clock may stop. So second down and 16, and the clock now restarts. So Osage real slow again. Waiting for that call, and that play clock already down to 13 seconds here. Yeah, clock running 125 here in the third quarter, and you're down by 22. You need probably going to need a couple of big plays if you're going to climb back into this one. But Osage with at least the opportunity. Yeah, once again to Hood right up the middle. Nothing doing, and he is mm. taken down at the line of scrimmage. So third and 16 now. Osage, you started talking about a road to a comeback. Well, hold on. This has not exactly been the drive they had anticipated in California. Their defense staying very disciplined. They're staying home and be easy up three scores to kind of look for that pass. But the front four and five here for California, they're hard nosed and they are not taking anything for granted at this point. Yeah, and uh, also they probably know that Osage is going to have to try and pass the ball. I mean, they got a big third and 16 here. Uh, so they're probably going to pin their ears back and be going after McLaughlin here. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Yep. Under pressure, McLaughlin throws it up for grabs and pulled down by Hunter Graber. Did he make that catch? He did. Wow. Unbelievable at the 37-yard line. Wow. Big time gainer there. We're going to give him 20 yards, 21 yards on the Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. But look at that throw. Just giving him a chance. And what a catch by Hunter Graber. Aiden Bryant on the coverage, but could not prevent Graber from making an outstanding catch. Yeah, pretty good coverage. Almost knocked the ball away. Strong hands for Graber, though. And wow. Here's Bradley now. Outside, cuts back up. He's got about five or six before that was cleaned up by Kearns, the junior. So that's going to conclude our third quarter of play, Osage. They're down 22 to California. We'll be right back on Lake TV after this. This live California Osage game on Lake TV is brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Millard Family Chapels, Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes, SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Serdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com, 
and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. We welcome you back as you see the Cat and I Joe by the, the Osage Band. They gotta love it on our Ozark Holmes fan cam. And yeah. Some great dancers down there, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see you. You got that move in you? It was a day when I could have done that. You know? How long ago? It was a few years. <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Just a couple. You know, once you get married, you don't have to dance anymore, right? I think we ought to tell Unique that. <laughs> Although I guess we're not we're not married yet, so oh, see, I guess I better keep dancing. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna need some Bengay and some icy hot, and <laughs> if I start dancing. Uh, so oh yeah, I'll tell you, we shot with Theo Sullivan Bruce Group for yeah. our monthly market update. Just had a lot of fun with them today. What a great show! Featured some of the uh, cool things to do in the off season. We went to Jet's Trampoline Park, and of course, Ooh. you know Will has no chill. Wild Will so had to get in there, huh? I'm, I'm still paying the price, and probably will be all weekend. Uh, uh. McLaughlin now in second down, up the seam, and Ooh. no, didn't even see him, and that's intercepted. A big time play by Drake Schloop comes up and make the pick, and. Not even looking back on the play was Keegan Vaughn. And looked like he had a step. Let's get a replay here. Yeah. So uh, a little bit of pressure, but not that much. He wings it there. And uh, receiver not even looking for it. But certainly the defender was. Nice catch. Yeah, and that was probably going to be a great throw. I don't know if there's miscommunication there. But like we said, Vaughn never looked for it. Didn't know it was coming. And the defender, Drake Schloop, made a great play, and that's turnover number four for Ooh, the Indians tonight. That might be a comeback killer right there. That was really an opportunity for Osage. Had the ball, big for a third down conversion. They were moving. Here's Schloop now on the sweep outside. Nice block on the outside as well as Ashton Carter took a shot. Really nice block, and I believe that was Tyler Patterson mm. on the outside, Ashton Carter. He's a big kid, comes in. He is six foot 205, and he got laid out Ouch. on the block from Patterson. Let's see if we can get another look at that here in just a second. So second down and four now. Once again, going to be a read option this time, and Kruger going to be bottled up and taken down. He's good on that read option. Uh, both uh, times that we've seen that, uh, almost looked like there was going to be a tackle for a loss, and then he keeps the ball, runs it up. He didn't pick up much that time, but didn't have to suffer the big loss, and it's going to bring up a third and three from the 24. Another chance for Osage to get the ball back here. Yeah, third and short. Give and not a lot to an Indians all over it. Ashton Carter, J.P. Cordula. In there, also in on the stop for the Indians, Tanner Gardner, the junior. So another big defensive stand. They actually lose a yard on the play. Good job from the Indians defense, which after a while there, you know, they were pretty porous, giving up 36 straight points. But last couple of drives, they've really stepped up, stopped them, getting the ball back and another opportunity. And again, they did it pretty quickly. Not a whole lot of time running off the clock there. The Vaughn boys back to receive the wall. punt. Get here, Wall! Get here, Wall! Get here, Connor Wall! Connor going to take it on, or Keegan on the outside. He's got some room. Some good room inside the 40. Tries to change field, and then inside the 30 takes a huge hit. No flag on the play. Coach Jolly has a word for the opposing player there on the sideline, and he's not real happy about that, but nonetheless, a great return in Osage, even though they turn the ball over. They get a three and out and a great return. Let's see what we think here on this wow. replay. Wow. Yeah, Jolly definitely thought there was a reason for there's a hard hit there. But then there's some John going on after the hit. Looks like a helmet to helmet hit there. Let's see what goes on after the play yeah. over here. Keep we can keep that, that rolling. It. Yeah. So see he goes over and there's some taunting going on. Number 24. Look at Coach Jolly trying to get in there. Yeah, he's not taking on that wow. crap. You don't mess with him. No. Yeah, another thing coming. McLaughlin now out of the gun. He has Eric Hood on the quick carry, and not a whole lot great defensive front effort once again from California. And man, there hadn't been a lot of big runs for Osage tonight. No, they haven't been able to break it through after that first drive. Uh, they just pick up, what, two yards, second and eight from the 26-yard line. But, you know, if Osage is going to get back in this, they need to have some big pass plays, some big chunk plays. Kind of wonder why they're uh, moving so slow down by 22 trying to climb back into this thing. Yeah, look for Graber here on the outside against Bryant. On second and eight, they might take a shot. 
Oh, he's under a lot of pressure. Jailbreak out there. And throws out there. He's got Graber who makes the catch. He does make the catch on the near sideline. Wow. What a play, and Graber makes him pay. That's a first down presented by Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, and Osage does the improbable. Now they're inside the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Red Zone. And give a lot of credit, not just to Graber for that great catch, but to Brockton McLaughlin running for his life back there, actually finds an open receiver and gets it to him. Yeah, when he threw that, I think Coach Jolly was like, what are you? No, 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 no. Great play. Yeah. Great play. Absolutely. Man, he's a baller, isn't he? Because sometimes he does make those throws that get you nervous, but he's always trying to extend the play. First down. McLaughlin rolls to his right into the flat. Has his man. It's Graber again. Down at about the 11. So we'll give him about six yards. Going to bring up second down. And Osage, they got to hurry here. Looks like they're starting to pick up the pace pick just a bit. Pace, yeah. Well, and, you know, the, the, uh, something that's good that's coming out of this for Osage is they're finding their passing game, which we hadn't really seen until now. If they're going to put some things together this season, they're going to have to be able to throw the ball and run the ball. Of course, Coach Jolly likes to run it, but they're going to have to mix in some passing, and they've been able to do that. McLaughlin to Funderburk inside the 10. He rumbles down. He's got a central bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. And Osage now will have it first and goal from the six. Chris, and if they can punch it in here with about eight and a half minutes to go, it'll be a two-score game. Yeah. They're just going to have to get pretty hard-nosed defensively. Crazier things have happened. Funderburk once again down to about the four. And Osage continues to keep it on the ground here. I think you might try to pass here close to the end zone. But again, just this team is built to run the football, and Coach Jolly does not like to shy away from that. Yeah, that was a nice yardage, a five-yard pickup, but again, the clock's ticking. 8.39, and you're down by 22. You're only going to have so much time, and they keep huddling up. They're not built to do that, uh, you know, uh, run real quick plays, no huddle. So McLaughlin on second and goal. Five-yard line takes the snap. Hand goes to Bradley inside the five to the house. Touchdown. And it's back to a two-score game with 8.21 left. And nice play there as Derek Bradley has his second touchdown run of the night. And nice blocking up front. Look at that. It's a little pull from the left guard and clears it out. And he has a path right into the end zone. So Osage now going to attempt the extra point off the foot of Zach Green. That would pull it to a 15-point game. Yeah, not going for two here. Going for one. They missed the last PAT try after the first touchdown in the first quarter. Really nice hold. The kick is up, and it is good. So nicely done on the play on the hold by Connor Vaughn. So with 8.21, back to a 15-point game. We'll be right back after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. So, Chris, on this situation here, would you uh, would you go for an onside? Uh, I would. You got 8:21 to go. You're not built for uh, you know quick, fast-paced uh, throwing offense. I would go for the onside kick. I do everything I can try to get the ball back. I wouldn't. I would. I would actually drop it at about the 30. 334. Try to drop it back there and have your guys run down before Sloop can get to it or these guys can change directions and get back. But here we go. And it's going to be an onside attempt and takes a California bounce out of bounds. And that'll be first down for the Pinto. So they did try the onside, Chris, but really just a little too much juice on the kick. And California now in the driver's seat. Yeah, that one, uh, no opportunity for the Indians to get it. It was kind of a line drive and just went straight out of bounds. Uh, the best thing could have happened on that is to hit a Pinto player and bounce off of him for Osage to get the uh, the recovery, but uh, it just went straight out of bounds, so no chance. Got unofficially 10 first downs in this game for the Indians. 
Uh, they have done well their last couple of drives on offense. Uh, again, hurting themselves. Four turnovers for the Indians tonight. So uh, it's, it's tough to win against good teams when you have a um, bunch of turnover problems like that. So California now, they've got the ball, 8.21 left. They got a 15 point lead and they've got great field position here. They're at the 48 yard line, 49 actually. So see what they do here. You know, they're gonna wanna keep that clock moving. Mm -hmm. The give is to Patterson. I think that's JP Dumont in there once again. The, or Cordula, and I'm telling you what, Cordula's been all over tonight. We saw him with a big play on fourth down earlier in the game on a quarterback hit, and he's actually come on pretty strong tonight. Yeah, he sure has. Good hit there, just a gain of one yard, second and nine from the 50. Kruger out of the gut. Looks towards his left, throws it. Graber there was able to knock it down incomplete, and that stops the clock, and not a bad play for Osage. Really looks like Myers may have even been interfering with Graber. It looked like he had one of his arms. <laughs> yeah, he did, and good coverage there that time. Of course, uh, the the uh, Pintos have had a lot of success through the air tonight, but good coverage on that one, not a chance. Look for him to throw it again here. They will. They're trying the screen, Ooh. and that one's knocked away and very nearly intercepted. Once again in there is J.P. Cordula in California. They're going to have to punt with 7.45 left, so the Osage defense, another stand, although the officials here are talking about something. Yeah, and uh, it, there is a flag on the field. We'll I see think what it's going to be an eligible man downfield for California. Yeah because they were trying for that screen. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that starts to develop in those linemen. They get a little overzealous to find a body to start blocking, yep. and so they start to run downfield, and if you get five yards downfield, you're gonna get flagged if the ball's still in the quarterback's hand and he ends up passing it, and that's exactly what happens. So the penalties declined in California. They're gonna have to give it back to Osage. Again, another really nice stop from this Indians defense. Something, some, something has happened to change this Indians team. Probably Coach Jolly yelling at him down there on the uh, sideline because both the offense and the defense look like completely different teams since that happened. Low snap, able to get it off. High punt, short punt, bounces. And I'm not sure why Ooh. Vaughn didn't go get that. No. I have no idea why he stood there and watched that. Yeah, and they're going to have to start like on their one yard line down there. But some tells me Keegan and Connor Vaughn are both going to have opportunities to make plays over these last seven and a half minutes for their team mm -hmm. because both young men have had rough nights on the gridiron and both guys are huge playmakers for this team. Something tells me we're going to call Keegan or Connor Vaughn's name here shortly in a big time way. I wonder if they didn't see it maybe uh, because uh, otherwise it would have been easy enough to run up and uh, just fair catch it or something like that but to let it bounce and start off 99 yards away from pay dirt is uh, pretty tough for this Osage offense. And starting under center here McLaughlin up the middle. Thunderbird with a nice run up to about the 12 yard line. Nice. He's got a central bank leg of the Ozarks first down and Osage has a little breathing room. He popped right out of there and he gets up limping a little bit. Doesn't he always? Yeah. I'll tell you what, he is so tough. Yeah, he, he is. Never, he never stays out of the game and he is always getting beat up like a pinball. Yeah, under center again. This time trying to get outside. Now back up the middle, runs into his own guy before he is bulldozed at the 15 yard line but he's tough and seven minutes to go Osage they got a little breathing room and both Indians slow to get up and hobbling and well I'll tell you what this team is resilient aren't they they are that's Keegan Vaughn uh, getting up a little slow and limping around took him a couple of minutes to get up off the turf there but uh, a lot of heart clock running 645 here in the fourth how about an up and out to Hunter Graber here yeah that would be something wouldn't it well, they're going to look that way. Now, McLaughlin, Ooh. he's in trouble. Still on his feet. Throws, has his man, and oh, and it is incomplete. And it looks like Keegan is down again. Something favoring his right leg there. So we'll take a commercial break as they look at him. We'll be right back after this. Dig, Mo Hall. 
and comfortably maneuver with a powerful diesel engine. Crown Power proudly sells Kubota's full line of equipment. Maximize the versatility with quick attach tools to switch jobs like a pro. Check out America's best-selling compact tractor, the Kubota L-Series. Ask our experts about getting one home today. Available with a trailer and attachments to accomplish all your outdoor needs. Passion. Power. Performance. Visit your local Crown Power and Equipment dealership today. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. And we welcome you back, and that's a nice sight for the Indians as Keegan Vaughn able to come to the sideline on his own accord. But you remember, Chris, that last play, yep. him and Thunderbird kind of got wrapped up together, yep. ran into each other, and were both slow to get up. And really, honestly, although it was incomplete, it was a pretty great effort for McLaughlin. Yeah, he, I, I don't know how he wasn't sacked in the backfield there. There were people coming at him from all angles. He got away with it, made a nice pass. Really should have been caught by Vaughn down there, but uh, Keegan injured on the play. Does come off under his own power limping, but here we go with a, uh, a third down, six from the 16, and with 6.33 to go here in the game, uh, Osage can't afford not to get a first down here. they got to get a first down. And for the Pinto defense, they're ready to pounce. Little play action. McLaughlin, he rolls. He's going to tuck it and keep it. Cross the 30, tries to get the first down. We're going to have to look at the spot. He's close, Chris. He held the ball out when he went out of bounds trying to get pick up that extra yard or two, and McLaughlin gets up limping now. Uh, it is close. I'm not sure if he got it or not. Do you go for it on fourth down? Absolutely. If you don't get this... Yeah, he is short. Uh, Although he reached that so. ball out there, but they're going to say fourth and one. Yeah, I don't know if I love the spot. You don't know if the foot was out of bounds, but if it was in play, tough for us to see. He definitely had it. Doesn't matter at this point. Fourth and one, game on the line. McLaughlin gives it up the middle. Looks like the Indians may have it. Real be, close. Yeah, really close. 22 yard line. Boy, this is going to be really, really close. Oh, nope, they're going to give they're him the gonna give first down. So it's a Central nice. Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. And Osage remains alive. Six one, six down one. two scores. 6-15 left in tonight's game. Of course, for California next week, they'll be at home and they'll play host of Boonville, who is giving Blair Oaks all they want tonight. A good game tonight, yeah. I tell you what. And we'll be there for that Boonville-California game next Friday night, pregame 6-30. Kickoff at 7 here on Lake TV. It's going to be another good one. And First and 10, McLaughlin out in the flat. Oh. Again, enabled to hit Vaughn. So that's going to bring up second down and 10 now with 5.52 remaining. Last two uh, passes that have come his direction, Vaughn has, has not been able to corral. And I think he's going to go to bed tonight kind of uh, having those things replay through his mind, knowing that he should have caught those things. But uh, easy for us to say up here in the booth. Yeah, if you saw the what's burning a couple weeks ago with me out at the baseball <laughs> field, I don't think anybody believes I was, Will's going to get out there and make I a play. I was so impressed with your uh, athletic prowess. It was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. Both you and KB, amazing. We're about equal, I'll tell you that. Here's the give to Hood. He's got some good room across the 40. Eric Hood, he may score from 78 yards out. And he does. And the Osage Indians, folks, believe it or not, are right back in the game. It is 27 to 36 with 541. And Eric Hood has had a night. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 78 yards and just like that, lightning strikes. Look at this one. Wow. Quick. Quick handoff off the left side. He found some running room and nobody was going to catch him. Yeah, that is sensational. And for Osage, they watched California score 36 straight points. They've run 21 straight points off of their own. Oh and they're right back in this one. Yeah, I tell you what, if this Osage team had played the whole game, then uh, it might be a little different up there on the scoreboard. 
And they're going for two. Now we do have a timeout from California. So yeah. we'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology, resulting in high end, advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Get another look at this, Chris. Misdirection play and Eric Hood. I mean, you don't want to get in a foot race with that oh young man. Oh, my gosh. His second of the night, his yeah. first, came from 36 yards out. So on those two carries alone, he's got a buck 14 and two scores. And I'll tell you what, Osage needed that. And I got an interesting thought here. Osage looked like they were going to go for two. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. You kick the extra point, it's still an eight-point game, one possession. If you go for two here and you get it, of course, still a seven-point game, still one possession. However, if you don't get this two-point conversion here, it's going to remain a nine-point game, and you're down two scores, almost taking the wind out of the sails of your team. You do have to get the two-point conversion on one of these two touchdowns if they're able to score again, but... This is an interesting call here, and we'll see how this shakes out because Brockton McLaughlin back out there, and they're going to go for two and try to cut this to a seven-point game. How proud must Coach Shannon Jolly be of this Osage team? The comeback that they have mounted in the fourth quarter uh, is uh, just fantastic. McLaughlin out of the gun. He's going to keep it himself. Nope. And he is going to be stuffed, nothing doing, and so... Remains a two-possession game. Don't forget that two-point attempt that Osage did with 541 remaining. We'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. Sometimes we take things for granted, but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small, because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. You know the meaning of dedication. The early mornings and the late nights spent pursuing your dream. The commitment and passion to turn those dreams into reality. That spirit of dedication is why Central Bank is always there, working behind the scenes helping you navigate those twists and turns in your journey with solutions that are tailored to meet your business needs. Central Bank, we do business better. Hey, welcome you back. You see the Osage student section at uh, Ozark Homes. Fan cam Ozark Homes. Building quality homes at Lake of the Ozarks. I'll tell you what, they got some beautiful homes on their lot right now yes, that they, they can do. custom build for you. They bring it to you, they get it set up, you're good to go. Ozark Homes in Lori. So here's a short kick. Mm. Feel that about the 22 by Schloop. Interesting strategy here, and they're gonna be able to take him down at about the 33, 34 yard line in California. Now they need a couple of first downs to burn some clock. Osage still clinging to all three of those timeouts. Those could be big, but Chris, you can't forget about that decision there from Coach Shannon Jolly to go for two now instead of wait. If you kick the extra point, it's eight. However, the extra point's not a guaranteed thing for Osage either. Yeah, absolutely. They missed the uh, first PAT of the game. Uh, and so, you know, that is up in the air. But 36-27, uh, down, still down two scores here. In California going to burn another timeout, so we'll take one commercial break and be right back. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have two by six exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. 
And we welcome you back as California has it here, trying to put this one away, but Osage storming back. They've scored the last 21 to pull within nine, but California is still very in control. First down give to Patterson. Nice defensive pursuit by the Indians and no gain on the play. Yeah, nice indeed. And uh, California made no bones about it on the way they lined up for that. They're going to run the ball, run the clock, and just challenge uh, the Indians to stop them. Osage did on that first down. No pickup at all. Second down, fake sweep. Kruger going to call his own number. He's got good yardage before he's taken down, but like the play call there, yeah. fake the sweep, sell the defense, and then, then tuck it in a run, and Kruger has good yardage, going to bring up a huge third down and two. Really nice design on that play and uh, pickup of eight yards, big third down here. We've got Patterson, Ooh. and he is going to be close. I think they're going to give him the first down. Yep, he's got it by about a quarter of a yard there, and that uh, keeps that clock running. Uh, huge first down for California. Yeah, that was big, Chris, and really a favorable spot. Patterson looked like he was just shy, but good effort, and they're going to give him the Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. Patterson going to get it again. Another big gainer. He's up close to the 40. Still on his feet before he's finally taken down at the 38-yard line. We'll give him 18 yards and another Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down. Unofficially, California's 10th first down in the game. Remember, they've scored on a lot of big, long yardage plays. Didn't need first downs to keep drives alive. Low snap. Nice defensive play there, tripping him up is number 46, Jesse Wormuth. Nice play there, and that's a big time stop. Now, for Osage, Chris, they do have all three timeouts. They're gonna need two scores, they're down nine, but more importantly, they're gonna have to stop California. Yeah, they are, they need to get a stop here. Second and 13 from the 41, this is a big down here. Here, a little sweep, oh, a little, little trickery there Ooh. in the middle, and incomplete, or was it caught? I don't know why you get that cute in that situation because no. that was almost disastrous. And it stops for the California. Clock. Yeah. 347 stops the clock with a third down and 13 from the 41. And again, huge here because this opportunity for uh, Osage to get the ball back and pull off some miracle comeback. It's yeah, still two scores. They're going to have to do a lot. There's a nice play. Wormuth, they're in a great tackle on the play. I'll tell you, that's two plays yeah. on this series for Jesse Wormuth, the senior linebacker. That's big, and that's going to bring up fourth and forever. So do you use one of those timeouts here and save the 30 seconds on the clock? Or I probably would. I would have with all three. Then again, I mean, I haven't won you know, four district championships in my <laughs> coaching career either, like Shannon Jolly has. So they're going to let those precious seconds tick off the clock and reserve those timeouts. And here's the offense that Brock McLaughlin is more accustomed to running. Spread them out and let it fly. Yeah, they've still got a chance. 21 unanswered points for the uh, Osage Indians here in this uh, comeback attempt. And they're going to let the clock run down. I'm not sure they called their last time out. No, they're going to take a delay of game and therefore give Trevor Myers a little more work, uh, room to work with. Or Okay, actually, they burned that last time out. So we'll take a commercial break and be right back after this. Your car and boat are your pride and joy. Here at Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, we're ready to create a shine that lasts. If you want the best, most thorough detail of the lake, it's time to schedule... And we are back now. The punt by Myers, and it is a good one. Takes an Osage bounce into the end zone, and Osage will take over first and 10 at their own 20. Your situation, they trail by nine. 251 left, all three timeouts. And interesting, looked like there was a delay of game. Then they looked like they called for a timeout. Then they did mark off to five yards. So we came back early so you wouldn't miss that punt. And Myers, that's why he wanted that extra five yards, because he's got that huge boot that he's able to boom down the field I mean that after it bounced was going to be about a 70 yard punt if you mark off the touchback of course about a 30 yard punt but where it landed Chris would have been about 70 yards from where he kicked it yeah, yeah you could do that leg last time Osage had the ball they went 78 yards for a touchdown run it was Eric Hood let's see if they've got more magic in there here's Hood bounces outside 
across the 30. Still on his feet up to about the 40 yard line. Big time run, a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down and now a penalty flag. Looks like that's gonna come in on the Pentos. Or let's see what they call. Little late hit and looked like out of bounds. Maybe you might add another 15 yards to this, but boy, is there a good special or what? Yep. Yeah, personal foul on the Pintos. Give another 15 yards. They'll be into Pinto territory. And look at this run, Chris. Great block right there. Nice Great move. cut. Yeah. Makes a guy miss there. Watch him turn up here instead of run out of bounds. Picks up an extra six yards by turning it up the field. Yeah, and the uh, defender you could see just kept shoving him out of bounds. You see the flag flying in there. And that was a uh, no brainer though. So all of a sudden here is Osage at the 45 yard line, first and 10, but they're down two scores. Man, I'll tell you what, the officials, we haven't said a thing tonight about them, which is a great indication. They've really had a solid yeah, game tonight. Yeah, they really have. They've done a very good job. Maybe missing a late hit or two, but other than that, great. McLaughlin now gonna roll to his right. He's got Graber. And here goes McLaughlin inside the 30, inside the 20, inside the 10 to the house, touchdown. Osage right back in it. It is 33 to 36. We do have penalty markers on the field for after the play. I think there's gonna be a late hit added onto it, meaning they can move the kickoff 15 yards forward and try an onside from close to midfield, Chris. Yeah, he was shoved when he went into the end zone. Brockton kind of uh, uh, went in a little slow to rub it in and he got shoved by the defender and I think that's when the flags came in. Look at that speed for McLaughlin. Where has this team been? What an amazing, this is 20, what, 27 unanswered points for Osage in the amazing comeback drive. Yeah, just insane, Chris. We were talking about Osage having a shot, and it just seemed like California was too strong and too big. But I'll tell you, the defense for Osage has answered the call in this second half. And although we thought we were going to have a personal foul, the official calls offsetting, yeah. offsetting penalties. They get Brock for the taunt. They get Aiden Bryant for the push. Those will offset. Don't affect a thing, seeing it was after the play. Green. The extra, ooh. ooh, and there is a big time hit. The extra point is up and good. So there's the personal foul that will scoot that onside yeah. kick 15 yards closer on the roughing the kicker. So we're gonna take this to commercial break. We'll figure it out during the break and be right back after this. Your car and boat are your pride and joy. Here at Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, we're ready to create a shine that lasts. If you want the best, most thorough detail of the lake, it's time to schedule your free consultation. No time, no problem. We can come to you at work, the dock, or at your home, so you never have to change your schedule. And don't forget about our industry-leading ceramic coating for any surface you want to protect. With Extensive Detailing and Ceramic Pro Lake of the Ozarks, you're one call away from the cleanest boat or car you've ever seen since you took it off. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. Man, you're going to get a look here, and Zach Green took an absolute shot. Look at the play by Vaughn there, though. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he just ran over. I'm glad he got up and wasn't hurt. He got up and went, what are you doing, man? Uh, but this is, you know what this does? This moves the kickoff up, what, 15 yards? You try for the onside kick. Uh, even if you don't get it, it's not as uh, bad a situation. I think they're going to mark this all the way down to the 45, meaning Ooh. if they recover this onside, if they even feel like they need to kick an onside, they're going to get it at the 35-yard line of California, only needing a field goal to win. Yep. Are you kidding me? Wasn't this game just 36-6? to six? Unbelievable. And remember, it, uh, Osage still has all three of its timeouts with 2.31 to go. Yeah, what an absolute game tonight. That's a much better onside kick. And it looks like California corrals it. I'm not sure why Osage didn't go get that after it went 10 yards. Yeah. Aiden Bryant wanted no part of the Osage front. Once that goes 10 yards, they could have been the first to grab that yeah. ball. Could have. To no avail, California has it. First and 10, a thrown 30. They're going to be looking to put this one away. But the Osage Indians, they've got other ideas on their sideline and on their defense. They want to get this ball back to Brock McLaughlin, who has had an incredible second half. Chris, how about what he's been able to do wow. 
So the Indians trailed it 36 to 6. Eric Hood went 36 yards for a touchdown. Then it was Bradley going in for a touchdown. Then Hood, then Brockton McLaughlin. And here we are. There's another shot looking deep over Trevor Myers and incomplete. And again, you throw the ball trying to take a shot. I like the aggressive play calling by Seth Womack. However, you stop the clock and you let Osage's defense rest. He just saved a timeout for the Indians there with that incomplete pass, 2.23 to go. It's just a two-point game. A field goal for Osage would win this. Yeah, California, they're still in control. They've got the lead and the ball, but you get the sense is a big run here by Patterson. He's stopped by Vaughn, and oh, the ball's taken away. Connor Vaughn with the takeaway. Or Keegan Vaughn steals the football. It should be Osage football. Let's get another look the at this. The officials are talking it over, and they've got it. Yeah, it's Osage football. It was fumbled by Tyler Patterson. Let's get another look. I think Vaughn came and took it away, Chris. Look at the handoff. He's got some running room. It was a nice pickup, and then boom, he gets hit right there, and Vaughn strips the oh, ball. Oh, he He's did. Oh, my goodness. And we said these Vaughn boys are going to have an opportunity to make a big-time play. Wow. It doesn't get much bigger than a forced fumble with the game on the line. Then you recover that fumble and give your team great field position, 2-12 left, all three timeouts. How about the way the end of this one is shaking oh, up? Oh, my gosh. And remember, it's 30. 36-34, two-point game, a field goal would win this for Osage, and they've got the ball. It's going to be Bradley on the carry. Not a lot doing. He's down to about the 36-yard line as after this play takes us inside of two minutes to go. And, boy, I'll tell you what, if you are just joining us, you have missed a phenomenal contest tonight between two Tri-County Conference foes, both 2-1 and one on the season. Both really would love to get this win. And for Osage, most of this game tonight, they didn't think they had a shot. Yeah. And here we are talking about them with a go-ahead score potentially. Usually you don't give up 36 unanswered points and still have a chance to win in the end. Osage does. There's Graber on the sideline on the 28-yard line. They're going to mark him at the 29. We'll see where the spot is. He's close to another first down. Looks like he might be just a little bit short. Make it a third and less than one. Nice pass from McLaughlin rolling out, slinging it. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Hunter Graber is so sure-handed. He has been solid all night tonight. Every time he's got an opportunity, and on third and one, the Indians, they need a yard. You run it here, you pass it. A minute 33 to go. Timeout. Yep. Osage burns their first timeout. We'll take a commercial break. You don't want to miss the rest of this one, folks. We'll be right back. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. And we are back on Lake TV, and breaking news, we just got word that Tri-County Conference dominant leader most of the time, Blair Oaks. They fall tonight, Chris, to Boonville yeah. of all teams. Man, what a crazy game. I believe your final was 35 to 28 in California for as good as they were for the most of tonight's game. They got to go play that Boonville team that just upset Blair Oaks at home next week. And we'll have that game for you right here on Lake TV next Friday night. So here's McLaughlin, third and one. He's got Eric Hood. He's got the first down inside the 25, and he's down to about the 24-yard line. That's a Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks first down, and now Osage in the driver's seat here. This is theirs to lose. You do remember, Chris, Osage does not have an incredibly strong kicking game. Zach Green has taken over the last couple weeks at, as the place kicker, and he's looked pretty good. Yeah. It has not been perfect, but they would have to get close to the goal line to think you'd try a field goal, that you know, at least is, inside the 10. Clock is still ticking, 109. Here we go. Hood 
in the backfield. He is buried. Big time defensive stop. And the first guy there talking a little trash. That's Jackson Casill, the junior. And as you said, giving him the business. So the timeout from Osage will take another break and be right back after this. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Lake of the Ozarks is the boating capital of the Midwest. Did you know that your prop is the most important part of your boat? With nearly 30 years of propeller repair at Lake of the Ozarks, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, is the choice for you. The most advanced in propeller repair and scanning, Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist, can help you boat smarter, go farther, and last longer on beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Cool Breeze Marine, the prop specialist. Go with the best or stay on shore with the rest. And we are back here on Lake TV, Chris. And I cannot remember in our ninth season a team ever being down 30 points and coming back and winning in one of our broadcasts. Well, we got that chance tonight. Minute and two seconds. Osage down by two, but with the ball on the 25-yard line. A field goal will, will win it. Uh, and we'll find out in the next 62 seconds. McLaughlin out of the gun. Clean pocket, now pressured, steps up in the pocket, tries to extend the play and taken down from behind. That's a big time tackle on the play from Tyler Patterson. And Osage gonna have to call their last time out. 51.9 seconds left. We're gonna keep it right here for you. So third down and 11. McLaughlin trying to extend the play. A lot of pressure in the backfield. And that was a play that took a long time to develop and probably wise to hold on to that instead of throw it up for grabs. Yeah, absolutely. So wise to hold on to it. Uh, I mean, you don't want, you, you cannot afford a turnover here. The game is over. It's done. So you got a third down and 11 here. So the question is, how much do you need to pick up to, to feel good about kicking a, a game winning field goal here with time running out? 22 uh, yards. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably right. Because there's a lot of questions about this uh, kicking team for uh, the kicking game for Osage. They missed a PAT earlier in the game. Uh, the I think they've got the leg to hit it from here, but uh, uh, you don't. You never know. You don't want to take that chance. So what do you do on a play like here? Probably a run pass option. Maybe. I would. I would try to run some kind of out on towards one of the sidelines and try to get about six to eight yards here on third down, knowing you're in four down territory because you're not going to kick unless you're inside the ten yard line. I wouldn't think, even I, though it would win the game for you. I just don't think they feel that confident in their kicking game. But here's third down and 11, folks. 52 seconds left. Osage down two. McLaughlin out of the gun. Eric Hood with him. He rolls to his left. He's going to throw. And that is going to be intercepted on the play. Ball game. Caden backs. I don't know. It might have hit the ground. I think it hit the turf. I thought he caught it. We're going to get another look at it here. They're going to say incomplete pass is the ruling. So a break for the Indians. And they say... It hit the turf, but I didn't think it did. Let's get another look here. I think it skipped in there, but it really wasn't a good pass from McLaughlin. He really probably should not have let that one fly. You can see here the defender's the only one with a chance to catch it. It, uh, I think it hit the turf right there. I, it's hard to say because uh, you don't you don't have a clear enough picture in the slow mo, but that's a break for the Indians regardless. Fourth and 11. Ball game on the line. Gotta get this or it's over. Here's McLaughlin out of the gun. He rolls to his left. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Intercepted. This one's coming back the other way. Aiden Bryant. His second of the night. He may go all the way. The only chance to stop him is Eric Hood. And then he's dragged down from behind by Ashton Carter. Excellent hustle but Aiden Bryant 
seals the game for the California Pintos and stops the Osage comeback just short. How about that effort? Oh, wow. My goodness. It's, you know, it's a, a shame for Osage that they couldn't finish off the comeback, but what an incredible comeback. And give California credit. I mean, they hung on. They scored. And then, and then we do have a flag on the end of that play, but uh, California jumped out to that 36 to six lead and then hung on for dear life in the end. And uh, we'll see what they do with this penalty flag. Yeah, it's going to be against California on the return. So California going to be able to take a couple knees in your final tonight. 36 to 30, 34 when this is all said and done with Chris, but just a crazy game uh, and really just a heartbreak for the Indians. They were oh so close to completing a huge, monumental comeback of 30 points. Could not finish the deal. And on 14 11, they turn it over their fifth turnover mm. of the night. Yep. Of course, they were able to come away with three takeaways of their own, but that wasn't enough. And their offense didn't start gelling until the second half. But really, a solid football game from start to finish. California overcame their early struggles, dominated the next two and a half quarters. And then out of nowhere, Osage figures it out and they're able to score 28 unanswered. But those unanswered points would stop at 28. They never got over the hump in California. They're going to improve to 3-1, and one, and they're going to head back home next week, as we said, to play the Boonville Pirates, who have just shocked the high school football world in mid-Missouri by upsetting the Blair Oak Falcons. And uh, in the, po the quick car post-game show, Will Holtz is going to be interviewing the uh, game-winning coach and the player of the game. Seth Womack is the uh, first-year head coach of the California Pintos. So uh, the Pintos with the ball. They snap it, take a knee, and the final seconds will roll off the clock. 2019-18, 36 34 going to be the final score. An amazing game that saw California score 30 unanswered points. And then in a great comeback attempt, Osage scoring 28 unanswered points. But in the end, it's the Pintos getting the win. 36-34. We'll be back with your quick car post-game show. And Will Holtz will interview the game-winning coach and the player of the game right after this. Hey, Indian fans, we know you're crazy about Osage Indians football, and so are we here at Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant. Conveniently located just down the road from the Indians' home field, we want to wish the Indians the best of luck this season. Bear Creek Valley Golf Club and Restaurant, open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week, home to a top 15 golf course in the state of Missouri, and the proud official golf club of Osage Indians football on Lake TV. Go Indians! Get ready for 2021 at your favorite lake lodging destination, the Lodge at Port Arrowhead. Featuring over 140 spacious guest rooms, freshly remodeled bathrooms, an updated indoor pool area with so much more. Come see the updated Lodge at Port Arrowhead, the lake's hottest lake getaway without the lake getaway price. Most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement. Whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process the mile marker formula that helps you pursue your work optional lifestyle so you can focus on what's most important to you like your family or checking off those bucket list items start taking the first step toward finding your work optional lifestyle call us today at 573-302-7212 this live california osage game on lake tv is brought to you by central ozarks medical center millard family chapels Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes, SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Serdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. It's our most protective wash yet. Introducing the Quick Car Ceramic Wash. It's an industrial grade polymer solution with ceramic nanotechnology resulting in high-end advanced scientific protection of your vehicle's finish. 
The Quick Car Ceramic Wash. Try it on its own or with the monthly unlimited wash club today. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time in Jefferson City and Osage Beach. And welcome back to the Quick Car and Osage Beach post-game show. We will have the interview, William Holtz, with a game-winning coach from California and the player of the game coming up here in just a couple of minutes. What a game. Man, 36-34 the final score. California with the win over Osage. But what a game, man. We had 30 unanswered points from California. They jumped out to a 36-6 to lead. And then what a comeback from Osage. The Indians scoring 28 unanswered points and uh, come up two points short. They had the ball in the final seconds, but coming up just short, losing it 36-34. to The Indians losing two straight. They lost last week in overtime at Eldon. So let's show you some of the highlights here. It was a California. California Pintos getting off to a slow start. The Osage scored with their first uh, drive of the game, but it was all California after that. Let's go down to the field. William Holtz with a game-winning coach. Joined by winning head coach Seth Womack with the California Pintos. And, Coach, what would you say after that game tonight? Well, we got to find a way to, to, to finish things, right? I mean, we had this team down at half, you know, you know pretty well. And, you know, we just got to, again, find, figure out a way to close the game out. And, and we didn't do that in the second half. We gave them every opportunity to get back in the game. And, and sure enough, they did. And, and it, it came down to the last play to decide the ball game. I'll tell you, it seemed like you guys really got gelling early on. And Kalen Kruger, he had their way with this Osage secondary. Talk about how you guys were able to throw the ball so easily against this defense. Well, you know, they just, they, you know, they kept rolling their safety down and, and leaving Trevor Myers one-on-one -on -one and, you know, a couple of other receivers one-on-one. -on -one. We knew that we, you know, we had the speed and the, you know, the athletic ability to, to make those plays when needed. And we did. And so uh, we took advantage of it and, you know, and, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm not one to ever, and, you know, I'll, I'll admit my mistakes. I probably should have kept putting it in the air and we, we didn't. We went back to the ground a little bit more than we probably should have. And, and um, you know, we probably should have aired it out, you know, 100 times tonight. Yeah, but a win is a win. You guys moved to 3-1, and one, and I know you want to enjoy this win, but I don't know if you heard, you got Boonville next week, and they just upset Blair Oaks. What are you guys going to do to prep for them next week? You know, like we do everybody, right? I mean, they put their pants on just like we put our pants on, and, I mean, they're not Superman. I mean, they got holes and weaknesses just like everybody does, and, you know, we're going to get down to the drawing board tomorrow and, and, you know, figure it out, you know, and that's all we can do, and, you know, Hey, they, they, you know, Holden almost beat them 13 to 6, right? So, you know, anything can happen. And, uh, you know, we got a good football team, too. So, Coach, hey, thanks for your time. We're looking forward to covering you guys the next three weeks, my friend. That's head coach Seth Momack. Now we're going to bring in our player of the game, Trevor Myers. He was on my fantasy team, so I think I'm going to win this week. Three touchdown catches. You just tormented this Osage secondary. How'd you have that success tonight, man? Uh, like Coach said, they kept rolling their safety down and one on ones, and I'd pick myself every time. And I don't know. How about the mindset? Because you guys got up 30, <laughs> and then when they started to score and it got closer and closer, was there any panic on your sideline, or did you guys feel all right? I'd say there was definitely panic. We started getting too comfortable at the beginning, and we just started letting our rolls down and start coming back into the game. Now, Mr. Myers, you've worked now with Mr. Kruger now a couple of years. You guys have a chemistry. Is that something you look to continue the rest of the year? You guys just keep this thing gelling and score as many as you can? That's what I'm sure I hope so. All right, that's tonight's player of the game presented by Columbia College. Lake of the Ozarks, Trevor Myers, goes for over 103 scores, man. Can't make that stuff up. Congrats on the win. All right, we'll be right back to wrap up our post-game show presented by Quick Car. Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. It's now time for the Quick Car Post Game Show. Man, just a classic game. And, you're man. magic, man. You were just down on the field. Now you're back up here. I got my invisible force shield. I'm doing my best <laughs> Trevor Myers oh. impersonation. I can't be stopped. But, man, I'll tell you what. For Coach Seth Womack and these California Pintos, they got to feel really good because, yes, you can look at the fact that they blew that 30-point lead and Osage ended up cutting it to two. But guess what? 
does not matter what the box score says. The wins are what matter. And for California, 3-1, and one, and they're setting up a big matchup against Boonville next week. And speaking of Myers, that's where he got the scoring started right there. Yeah, that's 33-yard pass. Trevor Meyer, the first score of the game, put him up 7-6. to six. Here you see another pass. This is uh, Aiden Bryant, and he beats the whole defense there to get in the end zone. And that gave uh, California a 17-6 to six lead in the second quarter. And now here's Osage with the ball, trying to get back in it. California with some good pressure on uh, the quarterback. And what an interception there. Just an amazing one-headed catch from Mr. Kruger. And you can see he's uh, pretty proud of that over there on the sidelines. California with the ball back, looking to extend that lead. Nice pass. Kruger finds the open man. They can't bring him down. He gets in the end zone. That's Trevor Myers again at that point. 23-6 California. Kruger again through the air wide open that time. And uh, it looked like the route was on at this point because it was is just all California. Here's another one, a slant, and that's Mr. Myers, uh, the player of the game. He gets in the end zone. At that point, it was 36 to 6. So you'd think Osage is out of it, right? Well, uh, there's another interception uh, that uh, Osage is in trouble there. Uh, and here's late in the game, Chris. It was 34 36 at this point, and that's the game ceiling pick. And you talked about that touchdown that yeah. Bryant had. Oh. You know, that really tough. He Incredible. also had those two interceptions which were huge. Uh, so just an incredible game. It went back and forth, and really it was all Osage for the first half quarter. Then it was California for the majority of the game. And then those last eight minutes, it was all Osage. And, well, California, they have the final say. They win 36-34, a huge win for them. And that sets them up with a big matchup next week against Boonville. We'll have that for Incredible, you. Incredible, yeah. Right here on Lake TV with our COMC pregame show starting at 6.30. Kickoff set for 7. And for Osage, they fall to 2-2. Two and two and, and they got some tough opponents coming up. I think they've got Real Southern tough. Boone next week. Hallsville the week after that. So, I mean, and they've also got Blair Oaks in there. They've got Boonville in there. So, I mean, they've got their work cut out for them. They lost two in a row. And let's just hope that Brock McLaughlin's all right. You know, he was shaken up. And he really had a gutsy performance in that second half. And I will say, one of the big plays that I thought was important was Keegan Vaughn. You know, he had a, he had a rough night tonight. He struggled. Uh, Connor Vaughn struggled in the secondary. But that, that forced fumble and takeaway that really put the Indians in a position to win. And I said, one of these two kids going to have to make a play and when he did that I was thinking this is going to lead the Indians to a win and he's going to feel good uh, and it didn't work out but what a gutsy play to put the, your nose down and, and get that strip in the fumble recovery wish it would have went the other way for Mr. Vaughn of course but you gotta love the California Pintos I was chatting with some of the parents walking by and they were asking can we watch this later and I was like not only that but you can watch us the next three weeks because as we told you next week Boonville at California then Versailles at California then we've got California California at Elvin, and then we'll wrap up with Osage at Versailles, and then we'll end with Elvin at Versailles. So a lot of good local games left, but man, I'll tell you what, California 3-1, and one, big time start, Osage 2-2. Two and two. It's going to be an interesting end to this Tri-County Conference season over these next few weeks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next week's game with uh, that Boonville team fresh off a win over Blair Oaks at California. And I tell you what, California showed us a lot tonight. I mean, they uh, 30 unanswered points, 36-6. to six. I think at that point, they just kind of mailed it in. They thought they had it won, and then it almost slipped through their fingers and they blew it. Don't think the coach, Seth Womack, that you just talked to, will uh, not use that this week to uh, light a fire underneath his players uh, to get ready for Boonville. You cannot take the foot off the pedal, baby. But just as uh, important as that is the comeback from Osage that uh, Coach Jolly will be able to use with his guys. Hey, if you guys had played a full game like that, you would have won that game. Yeah, and there's no doubt about it. And, and you heard when I talked with Coach Womack, he said, you know, I want to, you know, admit fault. He said, I probably stopped passing a little early and started running the ball and they came kind of predictable. And so he took the credit and said, you know, we did kind of what he was saying essentially was we were playing to protect the lead, yeah. not playing to win. And it almost bit him in the butt. That's where that hurry up offense comes back to bite you sometimes where, you know, you're hurrying, hurrying, hurrying all the time. And then you're trying to run out the clock and you don't know how. Right. You know? Well, it ended up all right. Again, your final 36, 34. Big shout out to the school district here at School of the Osage. Always so welcoming and accommodating. Big shout out to Coach Seth 
Dave Womack, Coach Shannon Jolly, both very helpful this week in our preparation. And, of course, our incredible crew, Tony Williams on the field. Great camera work all night. Megan Albers up top uh, with the top camera angle does a wonderful job. Of course, Ricky Smith, our program director, and he is in the truck with Andrew Evans, our DOP switching. Jonah Debert on graphics. And, of course, you can't forget about this guy, Uncle Chris, and I'm Wild Will. For Lake TV, we're going to sign off tonight. Big shout-out to Quick Car or Post Game Sponsors. We'll see you guys next Friday from California. This live California Osage game on Lake TV is brought to you by Central Ozarks Medical Center, Millard Family Chapels, Quick Car, High V Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Crown Power and Equipment, Cool Breeze Marine, Mike Heikman State Farm Insurance, Central Bank Lake of the Ozarks, Ozark Homes, SRG Financial Advisors, Bear Creek Valley Golf Club, Extensive Mobile Detailing, Sirdike Yamaha, New Spring Wellness Center, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, LakeExpo.com, and the Missouri State High School Activities Association.